Uh, we lie? Uh, we lie? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with some space exploration. Or rather, trying to figure out this stupid wedding ring. Uh, actually, there's something I want to figure out before that. Um, I mean, I think we've pretty much figured it out, but I want to refine it a little, little bit. Um, just, and that is just producing uh, high temp steam. Well, not too high temp, 900 to 1000 degrees. Um, so, what we do to control it precisely is melt ice uh, into water and then convert that water to steam. Uh, we make 5,000 degree steam and 100 degree steam. Uh, and at a certain ratio, we get between 900 and 1,000 degrees. Uh, that ratio being 1 to 5. Uh, and that way we get, instead of 5.82 megawatts, uh, we actually get 10.62 from a single condenser turbine. And also, it might be enough to power a spaceship for a decent distance, depending on how many storage tanks we use. Um, so, the next, uh, the next step here is just refining it so that we can produce it at a decent pace and fully automatically. Um, I think what I want to do, hmm, we could do the chests thing here. That would probably be the easiest way to make sure we insert exact ratios. Um, on the other hand, we could do it in a single chest. Yeah, that might be the way to go. Okay, um, what I think I'll do is put a request to chest between these two. And from there, we are going to make our steam. That actually fits together very well. You're going to have a condensed water problem with that. What do you mean by that? Condensed water problem? We're going to have to have a storage for water output, that's true. Unless we want to spend energy uh, boiling water away, uh, which I don't think is worth it. Much easier to just have some storage tanks. Well, that'll come to the part where we design the actual ship, but I think it'll be much easier to have um, uh, it, it'll probably be easier to store the water output after the condenser turbine, rather than waste energy on getting rid of it. Probably. That's what I meant, since you're relying on the ice to maintain ratio. Yeah. So we're not going to have a reactor on a ship that runs off of this stuff. That's kind of the point. Um, so we're going to have a stack inserter. And a regular inserter. Could probably make that one a yellow but I would rather they swing at the same speed. Stack size on the one on the left is going to be uh, 5. Stack size on the one on the right is going to be 1. And we just request however much ice here we want. This one's condition is uh, water, ice, is... Well, actually, both of them. The condition is going to be greater than 5. 
So if there's six ice or more, we're going to pick up stack size five on the left and stack size one on the right. Uh, and that way we're going to maintain a perfect ratio. Of course, we also need to control when we actually uh, have too much... We've already messed this up. Uh, we have to control when we've got too much input here. Uh, Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I think, uh, if I didn't say so already, and we welcome, welcome also. Um, okay, so I think if we just say... Hmm... I need more of these. Uh, let's see. The the steam, the 5,000 degree steam is actually so slow that I can't exactly just build more of these to keep up with it. Um, it is like, let's see, 264.71 over 40, uh, 4.5135. It's almost 60 times faster. Hey, Evil Pla. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, given... I, I'm not going to build 59 um, electric boilers just to get the ratio right here. And even if I did, an individual lot of 100 steam literally takes um 22.15 seconds so that doesn't really that doesn't really work if i had um like 25 of these uh what are we doing per second yeah 24 23. I could do one ice per second with... almost one ice per second with 22. Hmm. We don't want to be waiting forever for our 900 degree steam either. We need to produce it at, at a decent pace. Uh, and we need to produce it where the ship picks up its steam. Um, transmitting a specific temperature of steam via the... Um, uh, via the rail network? I don't know how effective that's going to be. Yeah, there's just a signal for steam. I don't think that's going to work. So we have to produce at, like, the, the parking space for the spaceship. Uh, so we can't use too much space, but we need to produce at a decent pace as well. Okay, this project is too intriguing, going into creative. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe I should go into creative. Um... The thing is, if, okay, so if I do this in parallel, I would have to pick up like 2 and 10 ice, right? Um, and we could do that once every 11.07 seconds to not overwhelm the electric boilers. We also need to figure out the condition whereby um, we're not going to overwhelm this thing. Can I just delete this fluid? going to be all wrong temperature. Oh, this one's still going. 
Okay. Let's just remove it temporarily. What's the plan for today? Uh, play with the giant wedding ring and figure out this steam design. And uh, maybe Arculink storage, but I think it's going to take a minute. My clap, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's actually warm in here for the first time in forever. Okay, um, let's suppose... Well, first of all, the maximum that a stack inserter can pick up is 12, which isn't a multiple of 5. It doesn't take too long to get stack size 10 research, right? Uh, stack. Let's see. Plus 1, plus 2. That was the last research. This one... Only requires material science pack one. This is pack two. Spaceship. As in just spaceship. Where is it? Uh, requires Astro three. I don't think we're going to be lacking material one um, when we have Astro three. So I, I dare say we can set this to stack size ten. So we'll go stack size 10 and stack size 2. Um, and we'll change it to... Uh, this should actually be water ice greater than 11. Same setting here, except for the stack size. So there has to be 12 or more ice in this, and then they'll both pick up simultaneously. Um... 10 plus 2. Uh, the steam output... Hmm. Should I do it like parallel or like this? I think I want... Um, I want these to output as close together as possible, preferably all into the one container, so that there isn't some weird mixing of um, temperatures sloshing about. I could pump this down this way, I guess. Might be a good idea. Probably unnecessary. Then again, maybe not. Um, what other possible layout could I come up with? Oh, this is just what... Yeah, this is the same recipe. Derp. Hmm. I could put this like here and this one here-ish and have a three pipe yeah I don't think it gets better than that probably oh I was thinking this would be here but it won't um, hmm. Maybe I should just have more cells, but I, I still think the 10 to 2 ratio is a good idea. So maybe, um, I don't think the part where the water flows in is what we have to worry about. So... If I put this here, how about if I put this here, and then that wouldn't fit there. Hmm. I don't think the entirety of what I want is going to be possible without modded fluid containers. 
Um, we could have this one here. This one here. And that would have to have a piece of pipe. The thing is, the fewer the um, the fewer the containers, the better the temperature mixes together, and we get a consistent temp. Hmm. This this output position is really a nuisance. Okay, I think, I think we just have these two merge. Somewhere. And then pump it away from that. And if we're going that route, we could probably scale up more. Yeah. Alright, so if this goes here-ish, how about like that? Or like that? That'll do. All right, so so we can uh, we can do this once every eleven point oh eight seconds. Um, Six hundred and sixty five ticks. We're gonna need to check if there isn't too much steam here, and we're gonna have to have a timer. Uh, did I just say 665? Yeah, 66. Six. Right, let's just go 666. Six, six. That's memorable. Alright. And... We're gonna go... Well, first of all, the time is going to be t less than 666. I'll put 1t. Uh, no, I'll put t input count, and we need a const. The const is going to come from this decider combinator. It's going to make sure steam isn't too full. Uh, since we're going to get 1, 2, 3, uh, 10, 1200 steam, Every time, uh, every pulse, uh, then in that case, uh, let's see, 2500 minus 1200. Wait, what? Oh, 25k minus 1200, 23,800. If I set this to be like Steam is less than twenty three thousand five hundred. Uh, is there any chance we still overfill it? Possibly. Do I need to back it up by like another twelve hundred? Let's just set it to twenty two k. Alright, so if steam is less than 22k, output 1t, and then if t is less than 666, output t input count, connected to its own input, that's our timer. However, there's a 1 in 666 chance um, 
It's also tricky. I hope I don't have to add another decider. Unless I limit this chest to exactly 12 ice. I think I'll have to add, an, and that, that means adding another chest because of the way bots deliver things. Um, I think I would have to add another combinator. T1. If this was a constant, I could do it negative. We could go into the negatives and use the steam signal. So that this is always below 12... no. Let's just... Um, let's just put our timer here. Constant combinator here. Another decider. And we're gonna go negative 10,000 ice. And if the timer isn't on the correct, uh, if, if we're not on like 1T, uh, then we're gonna pretend there's no ice in the chest, basically. Um, and that goes there. It's a little hard to see. Something like that. Now, the only trouble with this, as I said, is there's like a 1 in 666 chance that we fill up on steam, we stop the timer, and then... Uh, and then we're constantly telling it to input. Uh, I think what I have to do instead is run the timer unconditionally and output output this under the condition that there's not too much steam. I think that's right. I think we can do it with the same number of combinators. Okay. So T1, unconditional. And... Uh, if T is something specific... The minimum is one. Then we're going to output. Uh, what was it? Negative ten k ice. Um, and we're only going to do that if the steam isn't too full. And that's going to go up here. So if steam uh, less than 20k, it should be plenty of room. I mean, 22k should be plenty of room. Output, input, count, water, ice. Make sure that's not like recipe water ice. Um, so why are we not... Just move this around a bit for clarity's sake. Oh, that's going to be in the way of the inserter. Uh, okay. Never mind. Actually, why don't I swap those two around? That's a bit more clear. Okay. 
So why are these inserters constantly enabled right now? Oh, we want this to be if t is not equal to 1, output negative ice. So one tick out of every 600, we're going to stop telling the inserters not to input water ice. I think I... oh, there it is. And... I think that confuses what I was doing with the steam check. So, once every cycle, we output... Once every cycle, we stop outputting the negative 10k ice, um, pretending that there's no ice in here. Uh, if there is 12 ice or more, they will swing, but we also want them to... That actually simplifies it. Let's get rid of this, or rather, I'll just change what it does. The negative 10k ice signal can go to this one as well. Where does this go? Okay, so if we've got greater than an amount of steam, we're going to not insert ice. If we're not on a specific tick, we're going to not insert ice. So these decider combinators basically just effectively side by side. Um, and they're going to have, their output is going to be on the same green wire. I think that's it. All right, what's our timeout? Let's put our inserters here. There's nothing we can do with modules. Um, we don't need any modules to keep up with the electric boilers, and we can't speed up the electric boilers, except by building more of them. So, here we go. Right about now. One, two, and ten over here. And once these... Oh, that's a problem. Or is it? I actually don't know if that's a problem. I mean, I expected some minor shenanigans. <sighs> hmm. Maybe I need to... Hmm. If I put these in parallel and we put 200 water in, are they going to each get 100? Or if I put both of them directly... There's like 0.1 water that's not in this one. Uh, that's kind of a problem. That's kind of definitely a problem. At least it's only, uh, what, 20% of our ice, uh, of our water that needs to go through the slow, uh, 5k steam process. So it doesn't slow it down that much, we're already at 3k. Um, but this is, this is gonna introduce some inconsistency. Worst case, I'm going to have to abandon using more than one electric boiler per uh, chemical plant. But I'm happy with this circuitry, though. I'm pretty sure that's perfect. So we're effectively, like, one whole... Like, 200 ice behind on the 5k steam, which is going to lower the temperature... Uh, even when all of this is done. 
unless we produce a specific amount overall. No, it's going to end up with... It's going to end up with water stuck in these pipes. Yeah, we definitely have to change this. We don't have to run this to the end to, to confirm that. Okay, I think I'll leave that there as, like, our first attempt at a prototype. Um, my next idea is maybe if we do this, um, maybe that's okay. But I strongly suspect... Can I not flip this with... I can't actually use that Piccadilly's thing, the special rotate, until it's been placed. Um, I can't really fit a pump the way I want to here. It's a bit awkward, actually. I guess while we're running this experiment, we can also mess around with having more pipes and see just how bad that is. Oh, this is already... This is already wrong. I th think... No, it's not. No, the circuitry makes sure of that. Um... Yeah, I think even if we, like... Pr probably, even if we do this... We're gonna get... We're gonna have problems with less than a hundred water going to either one of these. Maybe. Yeah, that's 99.9. Pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we're not going to get two recipes here straight away. This one just hogged both... Uh, this, this one just hogged, hogged both of those ice cubes. Okay. So I think we just have to have one chemical plant per electric boiler. That is one chemical plant per, um... Well, yeah, no. Regardless, it is one chemical plant per electric boiler. Because they have to connect directly. Um... We don't need more than one of these, regardless. So I guess our layout is gonna look something like... Something like... Does it matter? As long as there's no pipe in between. If my goal is to start with something like this, then... It would have to be... A bit like that. Or that. Maybe we could... There's no way to... If I put one piece of pipe here, is is it going to end up with like 0 0.01 water sometimes? Probably. What if we go for... This, but with a pump? Could work. It wouldn't be too pretty. Uh, I'll 
alternatively, can we put it all around one storage tank somehow? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think there's a way to have more than two of these that go directly into a tank. So we're going to have to use pumps. So we could probably just do it something like this. 5k steam on the left, and 500 steam on the right, perhaps? Maybe the other way around? Make sure that is 500, uh, not 500 degree steam, 100 degree steam. Come to think of it, if I use a hotter temperature of steam than 100 degrees, we can... If our target is 900... If our target is 900 degrees, then... Starting at 500 degrees, we can use way fewer 5k recipes. Which will make it faster overall. 0.37 seconds, 2.15 seconds. I'm pretty sure the ratio of boilers is still going to be the same. Whereas where the best we can do is one of this and two for these. Or something close to to that. Um, I guess we need to run the experiment and see exactly what the ratio is going to be. It might get us closer to a thousand degrees as well, which allegedly gives us more energy from our condenser turbines. Because if we look at um, steam, it tells us that we have 200 joules per degree Celsius. All right, why don't we delete this and we'll figure out our ratio. Um, I'll use this constant combinator so it's easy to control our inputs here. Actually, it'll be a pair of constant combinators. So instead of 100 degrees, we're going to go with 500. And this one is still 5,000. Um, stack size 1. Anything greater than 0. And 1 water ice. Okay, so let's find out what the ratio is going to be here. Oh! Uh, well, that's exactly 100. That's exactly one ice. It's fine. And then 500 degrees is, of course, much faster than this. So we're just waiting to see what temperature we get once we mix that with 5,000. It should be halfway between 500 and 5,000, right? So... 5,000 minus 2250, is that correct? 2750? We're about to find out. As for the layout... Um, probably something like this. 
And the other thing I need to do after all of this is output the finished product. Um, between cycling these recipes, if I can. 2750, that's what I said, wasn't it? Alright, cool. One more. Well, probably more than one more. Another 500 degree steam puts us at 2000. Uh, I can't quite do this in my head. 1625. I guess we're going to get like... We're going to approach 500 degrees and never get there, so... We should probably be able to get it a little bit over a thousand. I just lost track of how many we did. Oh no. Twelve fifty eleven forty two one oh six two. Uh, so this one should be just under one K, I'm guessing. Exactly a thousand? Oh, yes, please. I'll take it. I'm pretty sure that's the exact maximum temperature that will work for the turbine generator. Let's let's confirm that. Denser turbine goes here. And some output. And one of these. And then we just have to run the experiment again because I didn't count how much ice that was. And yeah, it works. The internal turbine steam is still 900 degrees. So I'm thinking it recycles 99% of it. So, it seems like, it seems like we're, if, if we do get bonus energy, bonus power output, uh, from having a higher temperature with the way the condenser turbine works, we probably only get that on the initial input, which is like literally 1% of the power that we're going to get out of that steam. So, not that big a deal. But still kind of cool that we can get it to exactly uh, 1,000. Let's just... Remove... I'll keep that there, actually. Remove that for now. All right. We'll empty this, make sure all of this is empty, one five thousand, one, two, three, four, five, I'm pretty sure it was at least five um, steps that we took to get that 1,000 degrees. Maybe I should have got the um, 5k in there first and we could have watched it step down. It's fine. Alright, so pretty much the moment this finishes we're going to see x degrees of steam. Oh, hurry up. And go. 
1250, that was from five. And it took like, what, three more steps at least? Uh, let's not overdo it, actually. Actually, actually, uh, we're gonna bottleneck on this thing anyway. 1142. 1062. And this is it, isn't it? 10k, I mean, 10, 1000 degrees. So it's actually 8 uh, water ice. 8 to 1 to get our exactly 1000 degrees steam. What about the amount of time that it takes? Let's do a stack inserter. We're going to delete this. Oh, I guess I could just check it here. Uh, 22.15 seconds, of course, and 8 times 2.15. So that's still below 22.15 seconds. So we're going to have the same cycle time, which is just the amount of time that the 5k steam takes. If we set this stack size to 8, and just flick this... Uh, in 22.5 seconds, we should have another bit of 1,000 degree steam. Um, because it's 8 to 1, we can do that exactly 25 times. Before... Oh, we can do it more than I thought. Uh, let's see. 11, 12, 13, 14, 20, 22, 24, 25, uh, 6, 7. We could do it 27 times comfortably before we output this. And I'm thinking we could have little cells like this. Um, we'll, we'll have the same kind of circuit control as we designed here. We'll have... Because this takes 17 seconds, there's no reason to, like, try and have more than one... Um, 5k electric boiler because that would uh, even if that worked like if we double this for instance uh, if we have the time we're just going to be bottlenecked on this one so we may as well just like double the whole thing uh, so we basically do this and we do 27 cycles, and then we pump all of this out before putting any more ice in. Before putting any more ice in, but after the uh, 500 degree steam recipes have finished. So there should be like a five second window. Um, that should be more than enough to pump all of this into an empty... If this container is empty, uh, five seconds should be more than enough to pump absolutely all of this steam out of our container so that we can start over. So I think what we need to do, let's just move that over here. Uh, what we need to do is have our cell that produces it, and then, ooh, that, I don't know how long that takes actually, because I know we're in one third speed. 
So I missed why you changed to 500 degrees instead of 100. Uh, two reasons. Although I only discovered the second reason afterwards. Um, uh, because with the 100 degree steam, uh, this is way, 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 way faster than our 5000 degree steam. But if we pick a slower, hotter recipe, then uh, then it works out to uh, fewer recipes to get the 1000 degree temperature. Wait, is that right? No, it's actually more recipes to get five, uh, five, 1000 degree temperature. Um, but there's less of a disparity between how quickly these recipes are done. Um, and we end up with 17 point something seconds for this to do its thing uh, versus the 22, 22.15 seconds for this. Uh, and we also end up with exactly 1000 degree steam, which is perfect. Yeah, so once once we've perfected our cell that produces this stuff, uh, I think we're going to have it do a number of recipes uh, to fill this with steam, and then on a timer again we pump all of that out. Um, so that we pump it out to make sure it's exactly a thousand degrees and not in the middle of doing this recipe. Um, I guess we could do that after each cycle. No, wait, we can't. No, that's a bad idea. Uh, Donnie Dub? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Okay. So... We're getting close. Uh, could you stop, please? So we've got one electric boiler from each of these. I might put these a bit closer together. We can have our inserter like so. Make sure we don't set the requests just yet. And no, I definitely do want them to both insert to one container directly. So something like that. If I move this over one tile, that doesn't really work. I'm just trying to make the layout not so bad now. But these these have to be connected directly, otherwise there's water that goes to waste. Um, and it messes up our perfect ratio. These have to be connected directly, so I don't think we're going to do much better than this lopsided disaster. Unless we have modded storage tanks. If I put this here, then this can't it the way I would like it to. Um, yeah, I think it just has to be... Well, that's not too bad. I guess. That's what we'll tell ourselves anyway. Wait, what? How did I do it? Oh, this would go over here. Uh, 
All right, so this is 500 degrees. This is 5k degrees. Um, step one, we have to have at least nine water ice in the chest. Uh, stack size on the short uh, on this one is one. Stack size on this one is eight. Um, obviously, we're going to need to have. Uh, stack size, research, I think it starts at five, six, seven, eight. We don't even need any space science to make that happen. So there's absolutely no way we haven't already got that sorted out. Um, by the time we're doing spaceships. Uh, and then we need the circuitry. So first of all, we need to say don't don't swing the inserters if the storage tank is sufficiently full. Let's just do our two no-no conditions here. And we'll maybe find a better layout afterwards. Uh, then we need a timer. It's still going to be 666 ticks because we're still waiting on the 5k steam. Um, so that's going to have T1. And this is going to be negative 10k water ice. Uh, red wire for input for these. We're gonna say if steam is getting too full, say over 20k, I guess there's no reason to let it get that full even. We can make sure that we can pump it out nice and quick. Maybe we could pump it out every cycle. But anyway, if we reach 20k, we're going to stop. Uh, if steam greater than 20k output, water, ice, input count. And what was the other condition? Uh, if timer isn't at, at its beginning, then don't pick up the ice as well. Hey, Shakka, Nightfire, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you work out the gate combinations? Not yet. I'm more interested in this at the moment. Um, Alright, so we've got our timer. And... Actually... I think we want that on the green wire, so that we're getting the T1 onto this. If T equals 1... Uh, if T is not equal to 1... Yeah, if T equals 1, don't output negative 10k ice. If uh, steam isn't getting full, don't output negative 10k ice. Um, and that's actually got to be a green wire. That's, that's pretty good, pretty clear, except for the fact that this wire is crossing over like that. Didn't I put that? I would prefer to somehow squeeze these in here. I think we can do that. And 
What a ice. A timer can go here. That's much clearer, I think. I might put the... No, I won't put the timer on the red wire. We're just going to have green wire crossing. I could make all of this um, red wire instead. That might be a bit more clear. Oops. And then this one crosses over like that. That one's red wire, and the red wire comes down here as well. Okay, so output negative 10k ice, and therefore don't pick this stuff up if we've got lots of steam, or if the timer isn't at 1 exactly. Uh, and then we need to... Then we need to what? I think we should actually... Maybe we actually should output to another storage tank each cycle, so we keep this empty. In that case, uh, what are we doing? 900? If steam is greater than 900, or is it greater than or equal to 900? then don't, don't put in more ice. Well, we could even set this to... We could set this to don't put in ice if there's any steam in here. Uh, and then we use a latch to make sure we pump all of this out in one go. What does the condenser turbine description say in point 5? Uh, temperature range 100 to 999. I just tested it with 1000 degree water, so it does work. I mean, if it didn't, we could just do one more recipe for the 500 degree uh, steam. They changed it in point 0.6. How did they change it? Whoops. What, why is... Why, why is there a shortcut to respawn? I, I don't even have this here. Put in your Discord. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's still 100 to 999. 165, 3.75 megawatts, 450. What the hell? You're kidding. Four hundred and fifteen degrees, ten megawatts? So we get almost as much power as this, but at less than 500 degrees. Wait, does that mean the regular steam turbine gets a massive buff? Higher temperatures decrease steam consumption instead of increasing power. Well then. Does it say that here, or is that... Oh yeah, it says it here. I wonder if it says it on this one. It does not. So all of this, all of this is academic is what you're telling me. It's not going to be applicable to the next playthrough. That's a little disappointing, but also we're getting 10 megawatts out of one condenser turbine, and it consumes less fluid? Wait, max water output 66 per second. 
That seems like... Oh yeah, yeah, that is less. Consumption, 66.66666. Sounds like... Um... Yeah, it's still... It still recycles 99% of the fluid. Well, I still want to see if we can do this. We're almost there anyway. Um, we need a latch, I think. Or I could just... Hmm. If I set this to activate whenever there's above a certain amount of steam. I think it's going to stop before... Yeah, I, I think we do need a latch. Alright, so three decider combinators. This is how we latch. Here they come. A Akira DK. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you well. Uh, and we're going to say if Steam equals zero, which I think we can actually get it to equal zero because there's only one container directly connected to a pump. If Steam equals zero, red signal. If Steam is greater than or equal to 900 green signal connect that to a memory cell and on the memory cell we just say if green is greater than red output one green uh, that way it will remember green but it won't remember red and then connect that to our pump green greater than zero And I think that's it. Let's get some ice down here and see if it works. We would also want to add a condition where we don't pump this away if this is full. I think I could simply add another decider combinator to make that happen. That's the nice thing about latches, it's really easy to add conditions to them. Is it just my memory or didn't you have an info section down below? Uh, I had a little... I was playing with that a little while ago and it, somehow I ended up with just a single... Um, not info thing, but it was like it, it it was the the plugin for dead cells. Um, hold on. If Steam, yeah, I need to have another look at that. If Steam is greater than let's say 10k output red signal. All right. Oh, wait, the 666 ticks is based on this recipe, right? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Oh, except we're doing, uh, we're doing eight and two, aren't we? No, we're not. We're doing one over here. Uh, I feel like I might have messed it up. Putrid one, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Weird, I'm in point six, and condenser turbine doesn't have that change, really. Hmm. Huh. Oh, maybe I didn't account for. I was gonna say maybe I didn't account for the time that the chemical plant takes, but it's so fast that it doesn't matter. 
I'm thinking I've probably messed up with the timer. Temperature is 500. Wait, what? Oh, we still haven't done one recipe here? Alright. 1625. We've done another cycle. We're definitely going too fast. Oh, we pumped this away. That's what, 750? Uh, okay, okay. Alright, it's pretty clearly busted. Let's delete the steam. And... Can I just get bots to fix this for me? There we go. And this one as well. Okay. Uh, why don't I have a look at this one to confirm how long that recipe is. Um, it was eight. Eight times point two five seconds. Oh no, no, eight times two point one five seconds. Or five hundred degrees steam. Two point one five times eight. Seventeen point two seconds. As opposed to twenty two point one five. Um times sixty ticks. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't remember how I got the 666. Maybe that that was probably with two electric boilers for the 5k steam. 1429 over 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, well, there's your problem. Uh, so 1329 ticks is the shortest cycle we can do. Unless I were to double the number of boilers for the 5k steam. But to do that and not have a problem with water sloshing about, I need to double the chemical plants as well. And I don't really want to do that. Um, so what was it? 1329? I think we can... Reset that now. Alright, so once this reaches 1329 ticks, both of these are going to swing at the same time. Eight ice into this, one ice into this, and... Uh... We should probably add a bit of a, like, grace period of a few seconds to pump the steam out. So that we get it out when it's all, the one, uh, all in the one container and one specific temperature. Alright, so by the time, by the time we reach 1500 ticks, we should have 1k steam, and we should have pumped it out. Oh, that took like a second. Uh, way less than a second. Yep, there it is, our perfect 1k steam. Uh, I think we can definitely bump that down to 1400. What was it, 1329 or something? 60 is one second. So this is more than a second to pump out the uh, 900 steam that we get. That should be f totally fine.
And we're going to stop at 10k here. I can set a smaller limit. Uh, why don't we go like... 1360? I bet 31 ticks is... Half a second is probably way more than enough to pump this out. And we're not going to do another recipe until it's been pumped out. Uh-oh. No, that was actually fine. It's also, it's half a second plus 2.5 seconds here. So we probably don't even need that extra little half second. Yeah, we can probably line it up to exactly how long this recipe takes. Cool. Uh, I believe this is it. Precisely 1000 degree steam. And that'll go in space exploration. Well, it was a little bit more complicated than expected, but I think we did it. Uh, and then we're going to limit this to like, let's say 3000. We'll just... With the next cycle, this is going to stop, and I just want to confirm um, that this doesn't somehow fall over when we reach our peak. And 1,000, and it's gone. Well before we get the next recipe done. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. So this is at 3k, 3.6k, so we're not going to output this. Uh, therefore, after this recipe cycles, we're going to get uh, exactly 900 steam in here. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, that should prevent these inserters from swinging again. Uh, if not, we're going to swing these one more time. We're going to cycle one more recipe. So we're going to end up with like 1800... Uh, 1000 degree steam in here. And... drum roll. Uh, I might have to tweak the timer on this, because it actually put ice in a little bit early there, I think. Uh, it should still basically work. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I would probably bump that up to like 1400. Steam temp is not a round number. I think something's busted. Almost definitely because of the timer. Do we end up with... Wait, how? Okay, how did this temperature change? Oh, because... Because we ended up with more steam than we're supposed to here. Okay. Okay, but now this is hotter than it should. Uh. Uh. Okay, it requires a little tweak or two, but the basic premise has has been successful. I'm not overly concerned about 
um, that side of it right now. I'm pretty pleased with that. We can definitely produce 1,000 degree steam. But it sounds like... Um, it sounds like it's just not going to be useful for the next playthrough, unfortunately, after all that. Alright, uh, let's check in on Foenestra. We have lost the biters, uh, the biter corpses. How did last night go at the wedding ring? I had to leave after three attempts. Perfect timing. Yep. Uh, wedding ring didn't go... what the hell? Uh, what? Huh? Nani? Let's disconnect this. Let's see what happens. No power. Uh, the ships are okay. This one's not because it's connected to the power grid. That's one reason not to connect ships. Um, how on earth did our 90 gigawatt power system fall over? We've got fuel. We've got water. Oh. Don't tell me the water's too full. The water's too full. How did this happen? Burgers and fries? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the raid. How was your stream today? I'm hearing something. I'm hearing power. I didn't even do anything. Oh, I did do something. I unplugged Boanestra, but was, it, was that what did it? Are we now going to get away from being overfilled with water because I did that? This is really weird, especially considering we have a system in place where uh, the power switch kicks in. Oh, I see what you did there. Stupid bonus wires. Yeah, this is the way this is supposed to be connected. Um, so if we, if we're at less than a hundred percent power, um, we're not going to power phone Estra. Easy fix, indeed. Passion Sausage, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Spent way too much time not having enough stuff because I forgot stuff on my rockets. Can relate. It's very difficult to not forget things. Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why did it need to power down? I think it was because of the superfluous... Well, not just superfluous, but actively harmful extra power connections um, that we ended up with. I don't know why... My, my suspicion is we somehow ended up over full with water here, even though that shouldn't even be possible. Um, maybe even though we're limiting this to 10k, uh, ironically enough, when we had a low requirement for power. Um, it meant that we output all of this water. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure, to be honest. Successfully made a biter spawner? Yep. Uh, 480 plus 90... 570 gigawatts of power around eight suns and this monstrosity, and we successfully built a biter spawner. 
It's possible for those two tanks to not be representative of the whole. Yeah, I am aware of that. But that's where we put our that's where we put our ice in to begin with. Um, and we've got a very lenient. We're, we're keeping this thing mostly empty as far as putting the ice in is concerned. So it really shouldn't have ended up overfilled like that. I'm shocked at how quickly it's back down to like half capacity with the water. Like as literally seconds after this thing started making steam again. Where do the condensers backfeed? Uh, so the high temp turbine... Let me just come down here so that we get the benefit of um, Afraid of the Dark. What the? Oh, my inventory is too full to swap these out properly. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's go... More jetpacks. And those can be lasers. Okay. So, for each of these high temp turbine generators, 5k steam goes in here, water can go out the sides, but only go out here, really. 500 degree steam comes down this way, and is turned straight back into water, uh, and the water goes straight back into the system at every point. It doesn't all have to go through one big bottleneck somewhere. It all goes straight back into the high tempeed exchanges. Which is why I was pretty surprised that this, uh, this reactor still has problems. Um, I thought this was like the safest possible layout we could go for, but it still underperforms relative to how many megawatts, how many uh, gigawatts it should be able to produce. Uh, because of fluid mechanics. Just checking where in the system the water went back. Looks like it connects back to the same tanks you're checking. Yeah. So this is like... The whole point of this as well is to minimize uh, ending up with like way more water over here than over here, for example. All right. Let's try playing with the rotary phone again. With absolutely no clue as to how to take advantage of it. Um, I do have in the Discord a bunch of screenshots of various... Um, I wonder if I could put the snipping tool on stream easily. Probably. But I would only want like this part of it, not the painfully bright white part. Rotary phone? Yes, indeed. Alright, let's pick one of these at random. How about... We already tried to do Lothar. The trouble is, we've got 11 symbols around the side, and we've only got 8 spots to lock in symbols. Um, looking at the... There's like... There's kind of a triangle thing. So if, if there's 3 symbols that we want to ignore, I have to guess it's those 3. But then... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. We can try it. Um, which symbol are we looking for here? It's so hard to tell what some of these are. Is that the one I'm looking at? From Lothar right now, or no? I don't think it is. I 
I, this could be it. No, I think there's one more vertice here. I don't like this puzzle, I'm going to be honest. I'm not impressed. It, it's it's a lot of busy work just to throw out one attempt to see if, well, what if we do this? I think this is what I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, that's our symbol. Okay, so we need to rotate this way. We have symbols up, just dial 16 trillion times. Yeah, no, I don't know about that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's our symbol right there. Almost nailed it. Okay. So we're going to lock that in. And then we need probably the most S looking symbol in the whole thing. Uh, I doubt there's going to be another one that looks a lot like this. This one. Yep, no contest. Alright, so we need to bring this down. Uh, what, 8, 9, 10, 11 to the right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And stop there. I think we went past it by one. Yeah, we did. So, lock in that one. Next we've got... I don't know, a twig with three branches, kind of. that one. Let's just use the navsat to look for it. Is this it? Nope. Not even close. Is... Nope. Uh, where is our arbitrary symbol? Unless someone's going to tell me it's a star chart, like a known constellation. I can't find it. I can't find the symbol that is on the left of the Lothar screenshot. Oh, is this it? It... One, two, three, four... No, that's definitely not it. Is this it? No... Oh, is this... No, there's four... Four arms on that one. We need a twig with three arms with a very specific layer. Is this it? Nope. Why can't I find it? Um, I, oh, I think this is it. Probably. It seems to be flipped. Uh, 
Yeah, it actually might be flipped. Well, that's definitely the closest one I can find in any case. Uh, so we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope that's right. So what logic are you using to solve this? I'm trying to imitate uh, the set of signals that I'm that I found inside some of the mysterious structures. Except there's 11 symbols around a central one, and we've only got eight to choose from. There's kind of a triangle thing, so I can only guess that maybe if we ignore the three symbols that touch the edges of the triangle, um, then that'll be a valid address. Okay, this one looks kind of like a person who is bowling. Uh, a person who is bowling. I might even miss it just because it's upside down or something, though. Oh, that's it. There, there's our bowler. That's the head right there. Two little legs, and they just finished just finished bowling a strike. All right, so we need to rotate this 8, 16, 24, 4, uh, 28 in that direction. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably try stopping it about there. Uh, we're one off. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I stopped it. I did stop it. Yeah, we're one off. Okay, so we need to go counterclockwise. Wait, did we lock this one in? Oh, it actually goes over here, doesn't it? Whoops. Okay, so we need to go eight counterclockwise. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, question mark. Nope, one off again. Clockwise. How's our power doing? Uh, it seems to be working. There would be, if I taken the trouble of beaming enough power to make this work there would be no question that this is that that our power system is going to work arms in the air just don't care the raving man indeed none flip when it rotates can you control that big phone thing with combinators yeah i just want to throw out a few uh tests combinations first and see if we can figure something out. Alright, so this is kind of like a spiral symbol, kind of. That might be it. Uh, no, that's not spirally enough. This is probably it. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three. That, that's definitely it. One, two, three, four, five to the left, plus eight. Counterclockwise. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's probably going to be one off because of momentum. Uh, yes it is. We need to go clockwise. And lock that in. Next is the most tree looking of these symbols that there is. Uh, it's all the way over here. Eight times four. We need to rotate it 32 in either direction. Just hook, hook up 60 combinators and idle for 11 trillion years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just program it to, uh... Just, just program an auto-dialer to... to Spam call everyone in the universe. Uh, where's our tree? Oh, it's all the way over here still. Why don't we just follow it this time? I was thinking more along the lines of once you know certain addresses, you could automate dialing them. Yeah. I don't even know what we get out of this. We've already got Foe and Estra. I mean, obviously, we're at Foe and Estra. But, like, we've already got Foe and Estra can effectively reduce the distance to any destination to less than 20,000. Or is it less than 40,000? Yeah, less than 40,000. But that's really good, honestly. Um, so I don't... I, I can't imagine what this would do other than just win the game. But it, it would be worth all of this effort. Um, what's next? Uh, the least easy to describe weird twig thing possible. Which is going to make it harder to remember and harder to look for. Um, it's like kind of basic. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one. It's like sticking out in three directions without a, a whole lot of vertices. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it right here. Okay, so that has to go... All the way over here. Takes its sweet time. And momentum. We're going to be one off again. Always one off. Alright, let's double check this. One, two, three vertices. Three, three, and one. That's definitely it. Hmm. Now that I look at it on the screenshot. Oh. Don't tell me I picked the wrong one. Over here. One, two, one, two, one, two. I think this is the wrong one. Uh, maybe we should change it. Yeah, we can change it, surely. Uh, all of the others look like they're rotated correctly. Um... With the angle that it shows it, like this. Well, I guess it 
Yeah, actually, I guess it shows it without a rotation with that part. Okay. Oh, we're supposed to skip this one. So actually we want... God, this takes so long. We, we want this other weird indescribable stick figure thing. Um, is this it? No. Maybe, if this doesn't work, maybe I should try looking for a much easier to put in address. Or maybe I should try putting addresses in at random. Since it would just be that much easier. Uh, is that it? No. There's our symbol. Yeah, that's definitely it. Okay, so that needs to be... This one. I think. Then what's this one supposed to be? The tree. No, the tree's up here. Wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're not doing this one, this one, and this one. But I ended up. Oh. Okay, no, yeah, we do want this one, thank goodness. Alright, so I just have to move this over here. And then we have to correct that other symbol that was wrong. Okay. So, what? No, I meant to go change this one. Uh, this is going to be... This is going to be a bust. I mean, this is assuming, of course, that the way I tried to program it in in the first place is in any way useful. Um, let's get our lasers buffed up just in case. Oh, and here are our friends. Autosave reload? Nah, it's fine. I mean, there's no autosave. It takes too long. Should I just... Can I just, like, stop this? I guess not. I think I'm going to look at the Mysterious Structure screenshots that we've got and hope against hope that we can find an address that's much more easy to program in. Um, because it's got fewer symbols that are hard to recognize. At least they're not splattered over the dial this time. Yeah, I made sure of that. Alright, sounds like they're done. I'm not too hopeful at this rate. Uh, let's do Rumba. Rumba looks relatively easy. Did you solve the Verbulator puzzle? Is that the giant uh, Spidertron thing? Uh, somewhat, yeah. Alright, so we need... I guess we have to wait for it to boot up again. 
I'm just going to look for the symbols here until I spot uh, spot one of these. Might be easier that way. Or not at all. We got any stickman variations? Oh, here's one. This one needs to be up the top right. Wait, no, we're not doing this one. Hmm. Also, does it matter? I guess not. It, it probably doesn't matter what we've got in the middle here. Right? I honestly have no idea. It takes so long to make one attempt as well. I just don't like this puzzle. Um, there's like nothing really resembling a hint. There was that text over here. We've got a few SV coordinates and no symbols. Predicted target, Weeb Galaxy, Foenestra, Anomaly, Unexplored. So is this like the inverse of what we want for the SV values? And how on earth would we even aim to get a certain set of SV values? Logic connections? Can't you program it? Maybe. Um, it's not like I can give it symbols that say... Let's put a constant combinator down here. Let's see what this does. What is that even connected to? Oh, there's like a power pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I if I activate this, does it give us a signal? No, it seems to be like right only. Why do I not have robots? That's probably why. Um, what can we even do with this? Anomaly signal. Did that just do something? Turn that off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Can I, like, cancel this? Yeah, okay. If we give it some kind of signal... Do we have to give it a specific signal? What signal would that be? Um... It's not like we can give it any of the glyph signals. Green? Uh, check box? Um, I guess is as good as mine. Informatron? Rescue me? You can connect to the controller at the center. Uh, yes. It doesn't give us any signal values. Let's see. Constant combinator. And some signal... No idea what signal we would feed it. I don't think there's any other points of connection. We're literally just groping in the dark here. Red, green... There's nothing, um, 
that I think we could use as like a left or right signal. Well, maybe. Hierarchy? Radius? Aren't these just the symbols that, that get used up here? Remove. We need to talk to the ORI boss. Mm. Yeah, there's not death. Yes, absolutely. Select icon. I'm not seeing anything that would appear to maybe be a useful signal to feed it. Oddly, the Stargate symbols can be used in math mode. Yeah, you can you can give a train station. Uh, I guess I can't place this without a rail. Map mode, you say? I'm guessing that was something different from add tag. If we go to uh, here, though, if, uh, when we go to put the name in for a station, we can find all of these glyph signals. I guess they're not actually signals, but yeah. We can't use these. Um, on our combinators. So that's kind of moot. Stargate symbols can be used in map uh, the train dialing machine. <laughs> yes. Do those show up in the Combinator in Navview? Wait, what? Do those show up in the Combinator in Navview? I don't understand the question. Uh... What if we give it, like, Planet Orbit 317? I believe that is Nalvis Orbit. Weirdly enough, that didn't do anything. Let's dial it random. Or is this exactly the same as what we had before? No, it definitely isn't. They show up in the Combinator on Navview. No, that's not how that works. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. I guess we, we could try spamming a bunch of random addresses. We'll have a look at it in... Uh, Informatron and see if we can learn anything from it. So we've tried reading from all of the Combinator inputs and outputs. We've tried feeding it all kinds of signals at the Combinator inputs and outputs. And we haven't found a single solitary function for any of the circuit wire connections. 
It's not outputting anything now, is it? Nope. Yeah, no, nothing. Feels like to me like there's too large a range of possibilities, yeah. So we get a vector value out of each dress and we have a couple of vector values here from the star mapping research but it's really not clear how we would translate those into creating how how we would convert a vector value into an address with the glyphs or vice versa I don't think we've even gained anything from trying to plug in addresses from the mysterious structures yet Long range something? Yeah, it's um. star mapping. Long range star mapping. It's just a research that doesn't do anything except that it gives us the stuff in the Informatron. Alright. Rando dial, go. Just gonna close these as quickly as possible. See what happens. Or it could do nothing. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that if we rotate this to a random spot and activate everything, it's never gonna work. I like the Stargate episode where time is frozen, the closer they are to the open gate. If the symbols weren't so peculiar, it would be easier? Uh, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, it definitely would. Um, the only thing I can really think to do is try, try some addresses based on the mysterious structures, but... It's such a chore to input them. There's always like three symbols that are difficult to make sure we get right, and one or two that I'm not even sure I got correct. I haven't had confidence, even once, that I've inputted um, what might be the correct address. And I say might because we've got 11 symbols, as opposed to 8, surrounding... Um, Maybe these three tell us how it should be rotated at the end. No, but it activates immediately as soon as we lock in the eighth one. Why are the biters coming out of the date? Because I didn't feed them today? Yes. Mad tech, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well.
Long distance match coordinates. Wait, what? When did this happen? Long distance match. Uh. Oh, I think this came from playing with the Stargate. Because I'm pretty sure I only did one research for long range star mapping. I could be wrong. Maybe I just don't remember. I definitely didn't do that research recently. Did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't do that today, right? Like, cancel this and throw one of these out? So it seems like just playing with this thing gave us another result here. You have four to five coordinates so far. Four or five. You did one last night. Hello, the rabbit? There's no rabbit, though. I am this guy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Regathian as well. That's the star mapping at the end of last stream. Oh, so... Oh yeah, because this was in... This was last stream as well, wasn't it? This red text. Next deep space research is number three, so I presume you did one and two. Okay, so we have completely been wasting our time here. Good to know. I do have one little idea as soon as this resets again. Is every planet in space exploration a limited map? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh... Oh. That's a lot of exploration. 600 or so locations, more than enough. Yeah, definitely. What's wrong with your FPS slash UPS? Uh, we've got thousands and thousands of trains, assembly machines, belts, pipes, fighters, and so on. And I do mean thousands and thousands. We've literally got... Um, Almost 2,000 LTN train stops in this save. Alright, so I want to look at one of these. That one. Let's look at Lothar. If I rotate it so that that particular symbol is here, does that mean this one and this one are going to be at those opposite triangle points? Okay, so up the top left should be, I don't know, um, headless praying person somewhere. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't think that idea is going anywhere. And up the top right would be... Weird stick number 752. This was the symbol I was looking for. And it's totally, almost directly on the opposite side of this one. So, that's definitely not a thing. Didn't know you played Stargate now? Unfortunately, we do. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? There we go. SE is one big puzzle adventure? Uh, yeah, I mean... The complicated recipes are puzzles to be solved. This is... 
This is just so arbitrary. Alright, let's try one more time. I'll, I'll try and use one of the screenshots to input certain symbols. And once again, not even be confident that I've input it correctly. So we can't even be sure that I'm testing this hypothesis properly. Um, how about... How about... Rumba? Uh, the, you're looking at other people's screenshots. No, um... I've, I've screenshot a bunch... It's on the Discord. I screenshot a bunch of, uh... Mysterious structure... Um... Internals. So it is from this save. I realize it's possible there's some... Procedural generation there that they'd be different... From save to save. Where is that symbol? There it is. Hey, we got it this time. Alright, so bottom right it appears to be this one. Um, bottom left is this weird spidery stick figure thing. Is that it? Oh, they... They don't rotate... Okay. Can we stop? Stop, 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 stop. Damn it. Uh, where did it go? Is this it? No, that's wrong. Actually... Is that wrong? One, two. That is so close to being the same symbol. Okay, let's keep going. Don't think this is it. Definitely not. In a psych ward, they would have you play pie and on before you leave. That reminds me of Ross, uh, Ross Scott talking about so-called prison games. This is it. This is our symbol. One more. Nope, that's it. Let's just double check. That goes there. Uh, next we need... Uh, let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need this weird thing with four leg things. I love looking for symbols that I can't even think of a way to describe. Uh... Is that it? No, I don't think so. Definitely not. That might be it. I'd better slow down. Nope, that's a little bit different. It's like... Oh, here it is. Here, here's our symbol. So we need to go seven to the right. Okay. 
Okay. And next is yet another indescribable horror of zigzagging. This is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is our this is our symbol, and it needs to go the third one. And then we've got some kind of crawling person. This one is at least recognizable. Not that one. Uh, here it is. This thing. Alright, so that is going up there. Perfect. Let's have a look at chat. Where you run your game at a hundred times speed to not idle for days? Wait, what? My next save will be K2 plus 248K. What is that? Uh, what's our next symbol? My kind of alt tab to it. Okay, here we go. Uh, man holding club. Nice, easy one. There's so many. What? Where is it? Did I just go all the way around? I think I missed it. Oh, I probably didn't look inside these ones, maybe. No? Oh, here it is. It's all the way on the other side right now. Get ready to stop. Uh, I've lost track of it. Where is it? Did we go over? Surely not that far. Oh, there it is. Two off. One and two. Okay, there's only two left, so I need to be careful. Let's double check what we've got so far. The last one is this squarish thing. And then we've got this thing, yes, good. This thing, yes, good. Zzz. Zedish looking thing. Fantastic. 
person crawling, person with club, uh, weird E thing with, with antennas, and then candelabra. Weird E thing with tenors, antennas, and a candelabra. There's our candelabra. So that's going to go here. One more. And last but not least is the weird looking E. There it is. Alright, so... Away you go. stop. Perfect. Alright, if this doesn't do something useful, I'm literally just out of ideas. That's one massive stargate, indeed. Diarchus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's a puzzle. It's a bad puzzle. Hot take. Don't you need to save the last glyph so you lock in the one that also matches the southern one? Uh, I should, I should bloody well hope not. I'll check, if this doesn't do anything, I'll check if lining up the last one puts this symbol here at the bottom. Does not lead anywhere. Lovely. So we need the squarish thing here, and to see if this particular symbol happens to line up with this part when we do that. What? I guess it does. Alright, we have to do that one last. Let's start again. A few hours later. Don't see our symbol. There it is, I think. Ragamuffin. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing Remind well. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and is insidious that? killer. No, that's definitely not our symbol. I think that's it there. And next 
if we go clockwise is this weird thing that I don't know even how to describe. With like the two leg things sticking to the right. I think that's it there. Uh, it is not. It is a different weird two-like thing. There's our E. That's the symbol. Okay. Then... Uh... Zed looking thing? That's not it, is it? No. That's, that's our symbol. Two more to go. Okay. And then we skip this one because it's in the triangle. And we have the crawling person. Which I can't see anywhere. Hopefully it's in this quarter. Oh, there it is. Perfect. And then we have Stickman with Club over here. Stickman with Club. There it is. One off. Dialing semi randomly? No, I'm trying to put in the addresses that we get from uh, going to the mysterious structures. Or at least one would think they are addresses. This needs to go counterclockwise by two. Except that they have 11 symbols and we need to put in eight. Um, but it does line up the, the one at the bottom middle. If we do this one last, lines up properly. Uh, next we have the weird E and then the candelabra. Weird E thing is... There it is. Right about there. Uh, where 
did it go? What? How much further did... Surely not that far. There it is, one, two, clockwise. Okay, weird Ethan and Candelabra. No idea where it is. There it is. Come to clockwise, please. Is it? I lost track. Uh, there it is. Lock that in. And last but not least is the square thingy in this. Oh, that's convenient. Alright, so this symbol here also lines up if this one is here. Looking at our screenshot from Rumba. The other two symbols. Coat hanger one. I'm not finding in a corresponding location based on the glyphs on the floor. Uh, and, okay, so I'm looking for like like a hat rack and a person doing a pose. Kind of thing. I want to, oh, here it is. So this one's here. So if this other one is found over here, which it's not, then that would have been a pattern that I found a little bit promising. But no. I do want to find where that symbol is before I lock this thing in. Where's the pose at? This one. Okay, well, no hints from that. But we do have this and this lined up in the same way this time. Uh, so... If... This doesn't do something... Uh... I'm really, really out of ideas and or thinking that... The glyphs on the floor at... The mysterious structures might even just be a red herring. I didn't have enough power, so I would reload after two to three full tiles. Oh no. Uh, those corpses were already there, right? Yeah. Turns out they were decorative. The distortion is unstable. Vector does not lead anywhere. Cool. Great. So it really does seem like the glyphs on the ground in the mysterious structures are literally just a red herring. And I'm completely out of ideas. I don't know what else to tell you. I, I've literally got no idea what else to do.
I wasn't here earlier, but didn't some of the ship's logs have those vectors? Yeah, but what are we supposed to do with them? What the... Did it just... automatically... shuffle this? So we got this symbol, the up arrow kind of thing. Uh, is that just always the default position? Or does it like pick a random one? Or maybe... It's not like there was a signal going to these buttons because we don't have a signal here. Best part of the puzzle is it's hard to even spoil it. What puzzle, though? As every game seed is unique. No real idea, never achieved that thing. I just assume it's a valid address. Yeah, I really don't see anything that even hints at a relation between the vectors and the glyphs. There's nothing that suggests we can, like, make little tweaks or adjustments or something to try and get a desired vector. I honestly just don't see myself solving this. You'll have dreams about it? No, that's the thing. Um, so... If I start playing a new game... Or uh, you know, have a new kind of puzzle to to solve. Like, you know the Tetris effect, right? Especially, I'm sure you can, uh, many of you can relate to, you start playing Factorio, you close your eyes and you see belts. Um, I, I have no such thing for this puzzle because there's just nothing to work with. You mean nightmares? Yeah.
like, if there's a trail of breadcrumbs to follow, uh, it's on a planet at the other end of the universe, and I'm just in hard vacuum somewhere. I have absolutely no idea. How many symbols are on that ring? Uh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, times eight, sixty-four. Can you screenshot the coordinate log in Discord? Do you mean this thing? Let me just crop it. Scroll down a bit. And... Hit, patch those together. 89% confidence. Here we go. the coordinate log? Oh. Coordinate logs. Sure. I honestly feel like it would have been more productive to start building a computer in Factorio than trying to figure this out. Puzzle is made by a civilization that lacks numerical numbers, however you'll need math in order to solve it. Good grief. Uh, I don't remember exactly what the detail was, but something about vector math or something. No, it was worse than vector math. It was like what we had to deal with on uh, Heliolite to solve this puzzle. So, it sounds, uh, from what someone was saying earlier, it's, it sounds to me like to even have a chance of solving this puzzle, you need to have the ed a specific mathematical education to recognize that, oh, what if I apply this high-level mathematical function to the problem? And even that at first would be a shot in the dark, is the feeling I get. Yeah, I don't think I'm solving this. I never saw the Spidertron thing. Uh, it was basically like... Take a 2D plane and rotate it randomly, and you're given the coordinates of three of the corners, and you have to guess 
Well, not guess. You can calculate it. Um, I was able to guess for the first few, where the resolution here was a lot lower. Um, but, like, these... It, we're looking at a 2D plane, it, like, in 3D space from a random angle. And we're given the coordinates as vectors for the top left, the top right, and the bottom left. And then we're given a target square in this space. Um, and we have to input, like, what the coordinates are on this grid, uh, to hit, to hit that square. Um, when the grid size was quite small, uh, or relatively small, I was able to do it just by visualizing it with a little bit of, uh, hit and miss, like, like, making adjustments. Um, but at this level of detail, it definitely wasn't doable that way. A flat plane through a 3D cube. Yeah, that sounds about right. You had to figure out the fourth intersection? Uh, I don't remember it in that much detail, to be honest. Uh, this thing did reboot with the arrow symbol in the middle, didn't it? Well, that sucks. Square was highlighted. You had to calculate where the point would occur in the cube from the clues given. Yeah. So what even is the point of the mysterious structures if they're not addresses for this thing? Also, uh, no idea what the deal is with the triangles at the bottom of the display for the mysterious structures. Uh, the glyphs that look like this. Well, who knows. I honestly don't know what else to do uh, with the rest of the stream if we're not going to solve this. Um, I could make a start on the next playthrough, or at least get the mods going. Maybe do some sandbox design stuff. Blow it up. It gives you those symbols too. The bottom half of those symbols are in the pyramids. Yes. Yeah, I was saying I have no idea what the deal is with those ones in particular. Looking at the screenshots. Can't see the pattern yet. The square was highlighted. You had to... Oh, wait. Save game, mod selection, map rerolls? Wait, what? Uh, we could play around with looking at what mods we're going to use for the next playthrough as well. Um, I think it's going to be a while before Arco Link Storage gets reset. How is this empty? What? You're joking. There's zero Deep Space 4s here and zero in the chest. So we haven't produced a single Deep Space 4 since we did some research. 
There's no Naquium Tesseracts. There's plenty of cubes. There should be Tesseracts. What? Oh, there's no plate. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. Quick question. Uh, do you guys process Cryonite on Nalvis or Nalvis Orbit? Uh, you can get productivity bonuses for Cryonite, right? So I process that on Nalvis. Alright, so... Uh, I don't think I'm going to wait long enough just to unlock Arco Link storage. We really could just play with that in sandbox. Because that's all I'm gonna do at the end of this save, if I if if we had this unlocked right now. I'm gonna build like two of them just to see how it works. Um I'm sure if we were to uh if we were were to aim for some kind of science per minute target. Um, we would definitely abu be abusing the hell out of a few Arco Link storages. But I'm not going to bother with that on this save. With 0.6, it is a decent idea to process on the source planet. I keep hearing that, but... Um, well, it remains to be seen. I know the stack sizes are smaller. For, like, a lot of things, but especially core fragments. Uh, but I still really want to avoid the spaghetti on, uh, the especially the UPS unfriendly spaghetti on several, like every single outpost. I want the outposts to be as simple as possible. Um, I actually started with trying to make outposts self-sufficient. Uh, I guess there's not much left here to illustrate it. Because I was deliberately removing it. Um, at first I was trying to make the outpost self-sufficient, but that just ended up producing a lot of spaghetti, basically. I'd much prefer to have the bare minimum on each planet. It also makes it a lot easier to upgrade with higher tech. Back it up with some numbers. With Prod 3 modules, you reduce the transport size by 60 times if you ship rods instead of raw ore. Fair enough. But if we're doing core fragments, um, I think I calculated... Well, it's going to be different in point 0.6 to some extent, but it's actually pretty damn stack effective to send core fragments before you process them. Core fragment builds are fairly small and since you use fishes, it makes sense to attach them to drills. I can check for core one sec. You're in for a rude surprise then. Point six pretty much forces you to build bases on each planet. Challenge accepted. Especially with the um uh, with the space elevators, it's going to make the cost of getting something off planet far cheaper, and we're going to use Foenestra to shorten the distance. Actually, I know exactly what I want to do right now. With we've actually got like most of the stream left still, uh, but it's it is going to be a complex system that's going to take some figuring out and adjustments and stuff. Uh, the thing that I want to, the system that I want to build right now is the system whereby we have a stop off at Foenestra between destinations every time. How long does it take to save? Yes. Yes, it does. Space elevators are quite late. Um, aren't they only like material two or three or something? We can hold out with cargo rockets until then. 
Training core fragments is super inefficient. Those stack sizes, you might as well belt it. I mean, trains are better than belts for long enough range. Let's jump into the super editor. Astro 1, Energy 1, Material 2. Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, it's not early game, but... In the context of space exploration, uh, that's kind of like early game. Core stacks to 20... Or to 20? <laughs> or to 20. That's... That's a pretty bad joke. Rods to 200. Also need cryo and vulcanite sciences. Rods to 200. Yeah, rods were already really generous at 100. Especially at the rate that we consume them. Um, alright, can we go to Foenestra in this save? Or... I, I don't remember how... Where's my player ship? There it is. This is where we designed the bullet. Ah, oh, that's nice and smooth. I am looking forward to starting over... Oh. Oh, we don't even have doors on this. Uh, I am looking forward to starting over as far as UPS is concerned. What did I just make? A linked chest. That's not what I'm looking for. Get out of here. I never actually made one of those before. Uh, infinity chest. Give me some spaceship doors. Alright, we can't just aim at Foenestra before finding it, right? Uh, apparently we can? Or did I... I don't remember doing anything that would reveal Foenestra in this save. Maybe the slash cheat does it. Well, I want to go to Foenestra so that we can do this, um, test anyway. Point six, it's 20 for Cryonite Ore. What is Cryonite Ore in this save? I don't think it's like a hundred or anything. Well, there's no... Wait, what? Oh, th uh, this is like what we can craft. Cryonite stacks to 50. Most ores are 20. Okay. Maybe I should update before designing the Foenestra thing. That might be a good idea, right? I mean, they're not going to change how Foenestra works in terms of it being about the same distance to every destination, are they? Point 0.6 update is pretty much mandatory with all these changes. If you're designing for the next run, yeah, we may as well... We may as well avoid the mere possibility of some nasty surprise. Okay, so what mods are we using? Um, I never actually used... I, I, I hardly ever drove the car. That part of the game doesn't last very long. Let's remove vehicle snap. Shield projector? Oh, right, that's like part of it. Um, do I even have K2? Yeah, I do. Restorio 2, AAI containers, and warehouses. Um, do I have, what is it called? 
Loaders? Which loaders mod should we use? I actually don't know. Um, I can't remember the name of... Bulk Rail Loader. I think this is it. Let me just double check. I just need to see a screenshot of... Yes. We're definitely using Bulk Rail Loader. I've done my time, I've proved that I can make good complicated train loaders and unloaders. I want to reduce the entity count and keep the UPS higher this time. K2 has one? Mini loaders. Uh, I think I have to install that. Is it going to lose track of what I was going to... What I was going to add to this if I do an install? I don't think so. Mini loaders. Mini loaders. Uh, is this it? Compact and UPS friendly, one by one loaders. Works with cargo wagons. OP. All right, let's grab it. AAI vehicles is great early on for biter removal. This is true. The, um, what is it called? The chain gunner? It's like one research away from, it's, it's like gun turret and then 10 more red science packs gives you the chain gunner and it's basically a turret with treads. Massively overpowered. LTN doesn't work with space elevators. Yeah, I'm aware of that. You have to hack an offloading station if you, if you want that. What's cheaper mini loader? It probably just makes it cheaper to craft. You are after the industrial train loaders and improved spiders. I had only thought about doing the spider thing. Um, how does it interact with space exploration, I wonder? Was it Spidertron extended? What's this? Brood mother. Oh, I think I saw another streamer using this and they said it's too OP, I'm not using it anymore. Mini loader are the only to work with trains. Okay. Um, well, we can have a play with some of these in editor extensions before we commit. Uh, I'm a little disappointed in Afraid of the Dark. It might be something they can't do anything about, but like since a certain update, the night is just horrendously dark. Um, a A A Afraid of the Dark does give us, like, some light around our cursor, but it's not what I'm, it's not what I would hope for to make the, the viewing experience a bit better. Um, I have played with AAI structures and vehicles before. It's great, it's fun, I like it, except that the UPS is terrible, like, really bad. Um, so I'm not going to be using that with space exploration. AAI signals. I mean, I wouldn't mind having some more signals. Hmm. Something to think about. Uh, these are just the vehicles. Uh, we could do some spicy biters. I don't know. Can we even, like, disable biters on Nalvis just so that the start of the game is faster? I feel like either doing that or making the biters really threatening. We could even go rampant again. Hello? Redstone... Uh... Redstoneer? 
Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pipe visualizer. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Pipe is pipe visualizer. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that's not going to cost as much UPS wise. Um, automatic underground pipe connectors. What? Yeah, no, that's fine. Bullet trains? When did I install this? I've never heard of this mod. Bullet trails to machine gun type bullets. What? Adds bullet trails to machine gun t Oh, bullet trails. I misread it. I thought it said bullet trains. I thought this was a train that had gun turrets on top of it. Which would be cool, actually. A wagon that just has gun turrets. So it just adds cool trails, that's all. Uh, isn't that... I thought that was like part of K2. No, K2 does like combat overhaul, right? That's part of it. Combat over... Overhaul. What was the name of the mod that... Shield Projector... No, what I'm looking for is the name of the mod that makes it block projectiles. Combat Mechanics Overhaul? Yeah, there it is. I, want, I definitely want to try it. Nice fill is great. Oh, is that the one that makes landfill not look like just brown mud? Crafting combinator is bad for UPS? Uh, not very. I mean, we could jump back into the save and I could show you just how much crafting combinator costs. Also, that's with like a million omni smelters. Um, I could just use crafting combinator for some nice, uh... Omni crafters, like in the mall and stuff. Uh, and I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna actually have dedicated blocks for smelting specific resources this time. I'm quite enjoying electric trains. Yeah, I could see that. The thing about electric trains uh, is it actually makes a lot of sense. Obviously, it makes the game a little bit easier, uh, since you don't have to give them all fuel. But you still have to pay the electricity. And we can't have that in meh game. Picket dollies for easy mode. Yes, gotta have picket dollies. That goes without saying. Should we do electric trains? Uh, text plates. I might use that for, like, name and base stuff. Also just for labeling things. Pick dollies is great and potentially really cheesy? How's it cheesy? Maybe consider stack size tooltip. Uh, I mean, I've been checking stack sizes just by toggling debug mode. What's this? So it just always tells us the stack size casually. Yeah, why not? I feel like that should even just be part of vanilla. I like the E-trains. We are already using the tracks as our power transport. Oh, the tracks... Wait, so we don't have to put giant, uh, big power poles everywhere? Do we have to have a specific kind of track to transport the power? To, to power the trains? In point six, power is more difficult at the beginning. 
Nuclear power comes later, after space. Interesting. We'll probably take more advantage of boilers in that case. Lighted power poles. Oh yes, I've heard of this. I may have already downloaded it. Um, let's look at manage. No, I don't remember the name of the mod. Is there a mod where rails carry power? That's what I thought was being implied. Sounds like something that would create its own electric network if not careful. Hmm, that could impact UPS, yeah. Lighted electric poles. I really hate how dark things get now, so this is... Adds a copy of every electric pole, including modded ones with integrated lamp. Yes, please. Thank you, Morphe Zap. And I'm not really keeping up with greeting people, because everyone's talking, which is fine. Uh, Jamot, Sandanima, Olbusk, Ben Wu. Ben Wu was here earlier. Fraser K, Midden, Morpheus, good to see you all again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing it. Uh, if I left anyone out, it's not my intention. Faustus. Mantifrin. All right, so what have we got so far? Uh, big containers. Uh, I think AAI industry is part of SpaceX, right? Uh, space exploration. Uh, AAI signal trans... We need to update okay, space exploration. Wait, is this already... Oh, updates, 35. Maybe I should... Maybe I should back up my game before I do this. I can actually probably do that without even quitting. Um... Actually, I don't remember where my Factorio game is. Let's go shortcut properties. C drive games Factorio. Um, is it gonna let me copy? I'd be pleasantly surprised. if it copies all of that while we're sitting in the menu. Uh, if not, I'll just have to jump out for a minute. Ninety-six percent. All right, cool. Uh, let's update then. Uh, I might want to just install a couple more mods first. No, this is fine. Let's let's just update things. Auto deconstruct. I forgot I had that. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of mods that I've forgotten I have. Deadlock stacked recipes? What is that?
There's also a mod that to put electricity into an item to unload that at outposts. Some smart systems you can call in more energy by train to supply outposts. Instead of dragging power everywhere. Similar to train log, there is rocket log. That might be a good idea. It looks overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on. I didn't even know I had train load uh, train log installed for that matter. We've got like two at least two mods for factory planner stuff. I can definitely disable one of those. I think I prefer the factory planner. The UI is just friendlier without. Well, from what I've seen, uh, it doesn't seem to really sacrifice anything. You starting point six? Yeah, gonna start point six. I don't think there's anything else I'm gonna do in the point five save. Uh, pretty much the only stuff that I've got left that I want to do, we can do in point six. Um, there's the wedding ring, which I don't think I'm ever going to solve. There's uh, Arco Link storage, which, I mean, all I was really going to do is like test it, so I can always do that in like editor extensions. Um, it's a lot of research to wait for to get that done. Uh, and the Foen the system that I'm excited about designing is the Foenestra stop off system, um, which it'd probably be better if we update before we design that. The do list might be a good idea. I don't know. I'll probably end up keeping such things somewhere else anyway. Today's Stargate victory? Uh, probably not. I mean, we've got it. We've got it powered and working and everything. It's just putting in the symbols that we don't really have any leads. Noxy Way Gaming, Captain True. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Regrets on point five. What's the biggest lesson learned before starting point six? Uh. It doesn't take much, okay, not, it's not the biggest lesson, but this one is pretty good, pretty easy tip. Um, it doesn't cost much to get space rail unlocked, uh, just throw some energy science packs together, you don't even need a good system to build them, just like semi-automatic. Good thing is you can solve the Stargate with your 0.5 save and 0.6. It won't make any difference for solving it, even though... What? Even though your entire factory would have failed? I don't understand. Are we starting a new game or just going through your add-ons? Uh, yeah, we're starting a new game. Well, I mean, we're, we're figuring out what mods the new game is going to have. And we might design a couple of things in editor extensions first. Uh, there was a mod that I can't remember the name of, where apparently you could jump into like a, a design surface during the game, so you didn't have to like jump into a different save. Did you already answer... Is using Crustorio 2? Yeah, we will be using Crustorio 2. Um, so far we're looking at AAI's big containers. Signal transmission, of course. Freight of the dark, biomes, auto trash. Bulk rail loader. Calc combat mechanics overhaul. Crafting combinator. Editor extensions, we're going to turn that off when we actually play. Uh, even distro. 
Factory Planner. FNEI shell mod was the one that was not as user friendly with the uh, layout and stuff, I think. Improved research queue. I don't know. Uh, Informatron Jetpack. Crestorio 2 is still red. Why is that? Incompatible with. It's not incompatible with anything we have, is it? No. Oh, do I just have to confirm? Is that all? Okay, never mind. Lighted electric poles. Uh, Retrofresh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, LTN manager should absolutely be checked. And so should LTN screensaver. Mini loader. Mining drones, lol. Uh, pick a dollies, pipe visualization. Great calc. I'm tempted to do rampant. It'll make the early game a lot spicier. Uh, can we maybe skip robot attrition? I didn't find that particularly enjoyable or challenging. Local utilities, what be this? Help with functions, resolve. Okay, so there's probably a dependency somewhere. Uh, shield projector, what is that? Uncraft. Interesting. Simulation helper, that's nothing. Gameplay wise. Mini loaders are not necessary as K2 has those. Okay. Uh, space exploration. Squeak through is kind of built into it. Stack size tooltip, text plates. And what is this? Oh, the cute little transport drones. I remember those. Yeah, we don't really need to have that as well. Vehicle grid is a fun one. You can put power armor stuff in a car if you want to, or a train wagon, for that matter. It actually makes the car much, much nicer, because you just give it a couple of solar panels and some shields, and then it doesn't take damage every time you crash into a tree. You can also make it faster by giving it exoskeleton legs for some reason. Also space trains. I really like that one for building trains before you get spider trucks. Wait, which one? Rampant Sec 2. Rampant SEK 2. <laughs> yeah. That might, it might make it a bit more interesting. Make the start of the game not like... as Not that similar to everyone else warehousing mod. We've kind of already got our big containers, I think. Uh, we're not using water fill. What was that mod called? The landfill one that makes it look nicer? Nice fill? Nice fill. Landfill has the same texture as surrounding tiles instead of the default default grass. Uh, probably the one with 54,000 downloads is what we'll... Wrong button. Okay. Rampant murder your UPS? Only until we clear the planet.
each wagon basically a Spidertron when it comes to building? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That, that, that looks cool. Uh, we should probably update the game, actually. <laughs> oh, I just... Okay, that, that's not going to take too long. Okay, cool. Tiny start is pretty nice. Gives you a crappy version of the modular armor. That's nice. Space exploration is not properly installed. Required mod robot attrition. Yeah. Required required mod missing, self-flagellation. You can disable robot attrition via the mod menu. Okay. Did you also use train network for players? I don't think so. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Mod is a dependency. Yep, yep, yep. Stack size tooltip, use K2 stack size. Fair enough. Did you back up your folder? Yes, indeed. Oh. Uh, do we still have... Okay, yep, cool. OBS still recognizes Factorio. LTN for players, you can call yourself a taxi. Nice. I actually built a system where we call ourselves a taxi, kind of, in vanilla. Uh, my friend Zura that I was playing with... Um, got killed by trains so often that he kind of needed an automatic lift from the spawn point. Uh, alright, robot attrition. Grumble, grumble. Uh, I didn't really look at any of these grayed out ones. Do we want to toggle any more of those? Armored biters might be fun as well. Cargo ships graphics. What? Okay. Uh, default lamp RGB. I've been meaning to try that. Far reach lol. Grappling gun? That's cute. Especially when we have jetpacks. Uh, what else have we got in here? Nanobots? Early bots? Nah, I'm sure we'll be fine. Probably. Nice fill. What is reverse factory? Oh, it uh, uncrafts things. I used Solar Calculator before, but it didn't really seem to do what I wanted. Grappling Gun is amazing before you get jetpack. Should we go? Uh, give it a go? SE Space Trains. So it's just aesthetic. GPS friendly space exploration themed magle maglev propulsed trains. Together with K2 SE. They also function. Alright, we'll give it a go. Updated construction drones. Can't be asked to place a million items manually. Yeah. You might want the rampant arsenal as well. I've never tried that. Uh, 
weapons, turrets, ammo types, landmines, equipment, capsules, walls, vehicles, infinite techno. Does Crestorio 2 add a bunch of combat stuff? I don't want to stack too many changes all at once. Like some of the other mods that I'm adding, I've played with before. Crestorio 2 adds a lot of combat stuff. Alright, I think we'll stick with that. Uh, apparently we still have to update Jetpack. Is there anything else? Laser artillery? What? Vehicle snap? Vehicle snap only really matters for cars and tanks, which we're going to be... We're going to be past those in a minute anyway. Vin Shady, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, is there a mod that makes nuclear... Uh... Very atomic bomb. <laughs> Not what I was looking for. I was hoping to find one that gets rid of the scorch marks, because I really hate that. Oh, no nuke scorch. Perfect. 10 out of 10. I love rocket or rail guns. I think K2 has some. I've often thought that there should be rocket turrets. That'd fill a certain niche very well. Alright. Uh, do we have editor extensions enabled? Yes. Let's jump into a save and I want to test a couple of things. Railguns 2. Indeed. Yeah, there is a railgun from SpaceX. I think they're probably talking about, like, railgun turrets or something as well, though. Alright, looks like... Looks like things are working. That is a cute spaceship. Uh, why don't we jump into editor extensions and see what some of these things look like. All right. Uh, what the... Iron ore stack size is 200? Why is that? Change the Crestorio startup setting, increase stack sizes to the no changes value. Uh, okay. Okay, I think we need to go through it, e even though we're just jumping into editor extensions. Wait, I didn't have the option, did I? If I go to free play, we have all these options that we're going to spend some time on. But if I jump into editor extensions, there's no such thing. K2 overrides the stack size. So do I need to go mod settings now? And th there's not going to be something in startup that I can't fix, I hope. Add Crestorio loaders, main menu theme, containers. Uh, yeah, okay. So 
So it's giving us a bunch of weird stack sizes in our editor. I guess we just hope that that's not an issue when we start our save for real. Is this the fissure? Core seam. Can be mined with a core mining drill. So I guess I have to place it exactly here. Can't place it anywhere else. And what kind of rate do we get out of one drill? What's our radius? Must launch two more satellites. Okay, fine. Get some power. Uh, some speed modules. Infinity chest. And a satellite. Okay, let's fix our color and how much do we get out of this? 42 per second? How big is... I was trying to find out what the radius of our starting planet is here. That's going to take so long to launch that we should do this. Just got back. What are we doing? Uh, just figuring out what mods we're going to use and testing a couple of things before we start the game uh, properly. Um, so how big do these containers get? Are they all just 6x6? Six six? That's not 6x6. Six six. What is that? The requester chest looks very different. Is that just cosmetic? Seems like it. Uh, so we got 2x2, two 4x4, two, four four, and 6x6. Six six. That's nice. 48 stacks here. Uh, 96. Wait, what? Why... Why is our 2x2 two two chest half as good at storage density compared to our 1x1 one one chest? 256. Uh, 48 times 16. 768 stacks that should fit here. So we're actually losing quite a lot of storage space for the privilege of being able to point more inserters and stuff at it. Um, what about... This is only 512. Yeah, so it's doubling... It's doubling each time for the storage size. But we go from 1x1 one one to 2x2, two two, which is 4 times the size, to 4x4, four four, which is 4 times the size of this, to... 6x6 six six is only, like, what, 50% bigger-ish? So that's actually an improvement over this one? Uh, let's see. 512 stacks over 36 tiles. 14.22. 48 over 1 is obviously 14, uh, 48. 26 over 4, 24, 256 over 16 is 16, and 512, 36, 14. Yeah, so they get, the, 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 the decrease is not as bad with this last one, but they actually get less uh, space efficient as they get bigger, weirdly enough. So, how do... Okay, you can... You can stop. 
but that's that's probably enough. Probably enough. 5,692 radius, and our first drill gives us 42. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is with... This is with mining productivity 17. Okay, okay. Let's see what it would look like if we didn't have any mining productivity at all. I mean, okay, when do we get four drills? Green signs. So, mining prod. Uh, this one requires blue. Red, green, and blue. Or mining. Red, green, and, like, the basic. Okay. So, this is actually the same tech cards. 16.5. Okay, that's more like what I would have expected. So it seems like that hasn't changed. Um, so this is the biggest container we get, I think. Uh, I think I've used these loaders before. Yeah. And we need, like, two of them sometimes if we want. Can we do output from assembly machines with these? Plate. Uh, loader? Yes, we can. But I think if we want to insert them straight into another machine... Can, can we not find something that needs cogs? How about this? I think we have to do two of them like that. It's actually not inputting at all. Maybe we need inserters to put into machines. K2 has different chests slash warehouses. You're looking at the AAI storage mod. Uh, yes. What? A, where, where else does K2 have them? Oh, is this it? Yeah, I think I remember these. So... Storage 500, 512. So these are slightly better. Um, do we have the same sizes? Uh, we don't have as many sizes. One, two, three, four, one, two. Huge storage tank. That's nice. That's very nice. How much does it store? 200k. Compare that to the vanilla storage tank. If I can find it. Uh, that's, that's, that's very dense, and way fewer containers, and they can just be put right next to each other with no weirdness with where the pipe connections are. I like that a lot. That was the wrong cog. Oh. Oh, yes it was. Steel gear wheel. Um, can I just... There we go. So that does work. We're going to have some much cleaner builds with this playthrough. For the loaders, the structure... 
Uh, you want to load or unload from has to be placed first. They won't work if the loader is placed first. Yeah, I've played with these loaders before. A long time ago. Another one that stores 50k, same size as default. For the fluids? Is that this one? 3x3. Three three. Nice. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I wanted to look at the um, bulk rail loaders and unloaders. Let's have a look at that. Give me some rail. And... Bulk rail unloader. How does this work? Straight rail is in the way. Okay, nice. Uh, what is that? 320 stacks. So, two full trains. But you do one of these for each cargo wagon. Is that... That doesn't line up. So do we go one bit of rail? That doesn't seem right. Oh. Oh, okay, you can sort of... Huh? That doesn't... Doesn't seem right. Is that how that works? Um, let's see. Let's do a quick cheat train. And I'm having trouble clicking on this. There we go. Cable. Does this have to pull into the station first? Uh, do a temporary stop there. Go. Flare stacks are nice too. The rail loaders are designed to match a line of Stack insert is going into boxes. Uh, I was also wondering... The K2 loaders don't take from wagons, right? But these probably will work like this. Those are the unloaders, not the fillers. Yeah, I'm trying to unload them. I'm not sure why it isn't right now. Oh, I made a temp stop, so I don't think it was... It'll cause performance issue. Oh, that's this thing. Per default, only ores for the bulk rail unloaders. Let's have a look. Doesn't really say anything. Bulk rail loaders. Gravity feed devices rapidly load and unload hopper cars of bulk materials. So, if I change this to something, let's try plate or glass or something like that first. 
iron ore. Does, does it have to... Maybe the cheat train is a problem. Uh, let's get a regular locomotive. Put some stuff in it. Give it some fuel. And go over here, please. Okay, yeah, that worked. What about if we use something different? Uh, how about copper cable? Yeah, it won't take copper cable. Check the settings mods. Or do I need to do that from the main menu? You can change what the loader slash unloader can do in the mod settings. Okay. Um... Let's go to the main menu, mods, I mean settings, mod settings, bulk, unloader, rail, I don't see it, ditch AAI containers, maybe, maybe not. can change what the loader slash unloader can do. Okay, let's browse this. AAI industry. Bulk rail unloader. Inventory size. Number of stacks stored in a bulk. Yeah, okay. What about... Here we go. Allowed items or, or plates any. Uh, or in plates at least, surely. I'm thinking any, if I'm going to use this at all. Yeah. When fl uh, Whether flying text should be shown over loaders and unloaders when handled item types change. Probably not. I don't know. Actually, if I'm going to use it for any kind of multi-station, then yeah, definitely turn that off. I could set this really high so that Crafting Combinator doesn't cost much UPS. Keep him as dumb as possible, yeah. Anyway, let's just change one thing at a time here. Uh, so, could you go over here, please? Huh? Uh, maybe the settings from this save. We're preserved. Oh, I can just change this here. Never mind. Okay. 
What else do I want to check before we do things? I am curious as to how this works exactly. Three, three. The links of the container depend on the surface it's first placed on. Does that mean you can't do any... Uh, you can't use Arco links across multiple surfaces at all? These will just have... Yeah, these are just linked storages. So you could have... I don't really see the point, to be honest. Especially for how expensive they are. I thought we'd be able to teleport things across the void. Be careful, the unloader cannot be controlled to not accept. It'll take all items from the train that are allowed by mod settings. So never bring a train... Uh, never bring a train to a bulk... I mean, it is called bulk rail unloader. It does what it says on the tin, right? If a train is coming to a bulk unload station, it is... Everything is getting unloaded. It'll teleport as far as you want, as long as you don't break the link here. Yeah. But not across surfaces. Alright, and can we use... Loaders from here? Doesn't seem like it. Do we have to use inserters from that point? That would seem to be a yes. Hmm. It's still a you. It's still a like net loss of entities, gain of UPS. Bulk unloader are only four wide, not six. Oh. Even though. Yeah, 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 I can see where it is now. Okay. That's going to save 600,000 entities. That might actually not even be an exaggeration. In the long run. Uh, and as for the loaders... How does this... Oh, right, we have to remove the rail. Uh, I'm guessing that is, like, too close together. And, like, these, it should be a couple of tiles apart. Like this. How does it need? Uh, zero watts? Oh, wait a sec. It had a huge spike there. I guess that was charging up or something. Uh, 10 kilowatts each. That's nothing. Let's fill this up with glass. And... Oops. You can have a schedule... Go 
go here, full cargo, go here, empty cargo. That's pretty quick. Uh, I think I remember someone mentioning that this works faster when you have a larger stack size as well. We've got this maxed out. Let's try unresearching. Uh, the stack size bonus. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, Rebound, thank you for the follow. Well, no, you're doing well. It does make it a bit tricky to click on certain things. Uh, little unloaders, but I'm sure we can get used to that. Oh, I forgot to put this... Yeah, there we go. Uh, Mika, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Yeah, stack size definitely affects it. That's kind of neat. Alright, so this was uh, unsurprisingly pretty easy to figure out. Um, it works about the way I thought it would. Anything else that I want to test before we think about getting started for real? It's going to be a while before I need to implement the Foenestra plan. Um, so I don't necessarily need to design that right now. I thought I would take a little break from SE, but honestly, I'm kind of excited to get started on a new run. Electric Mining Drill 3. Versus Big Mining Drill. One point two per second. Uh, it's actually faster. Same amount of power. It's faster than the big mining drill. Here's Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Unless you are here earlier. The Mark III drill is way higher tech. Yeah, it's more, uh, it's much higher density for how fast we can mine with this. You can use Crestorio train loaders on Crestorio train loaders. Oh, as in the... these things? Yes, you can. So that's going to save quite a few inserters and chests and things. Big mining have more slots? Wait, do they? I thought they both had five. Yeah, no, they both have five. Um... Oh yeah, let's look at the condenser turbine. It is indeed 415 degrees Celsius gives us 10 megawatts. We get 3.75 megawatts at 165. Steam turbine is 415 degrees, 50 per second. This consumes faster. Uh... Yeah, we have to pump the fluid through faster to get the same 10 megawatts. 10 megawatts, though. What about our electric boiler? Do we get, like, different temperatures, I would imagine, from what we got used to? No, it still pumps out 500 degrees. Even though this is consuming at 
415. Higher temperatures decrease steam consumption instead of increasing power. Okay. Uh, let's give this some water. And we can just void this. Oh, that works. Can you connect logic to those train load slash unload things? Quite likely. Yes. Uh, we can read contents like any container. But that's about it. Which is fine. I mean... Like like the name says, bulk unloader, or bulk loader. Um, I'll probably, I mean, obviously I'll use these when we're only loading or unloading one thing. Um, I could even, I actually could do a multi-station with these quite easily. You can put chests into the corners of the loader slash unloader that have them fill slash empty directly. Uh, oh, like, like this? Interesting. Yeah, you can see the, like, inserter that's pointed at it. Very interesting. And that also just adds more storage here quite easily. Can we do, like, a big container? Oh, we can. I don't suppose there's such thing as a 3 by Um, let's just grab one of everything here. We can't use this. So I don't think we can use even the 2x2. Two to make this work. Not in a way that we could get from both cargo wagons. Not that we would necessarily want to, I suppose. Also an oil burner that's nice for power before nuclear. Can you unload to a belt directly? Yes, you can. You can use uh, an inserter from this thing, or you can use a loader. I'm definitely going to be using loaders. Uh, what else? Steel pump. Steel pipe. I can't think of anything... that I want to test before we get started. Oh, what are the, uh... The modules do indeed only require two of the previous tier now. That's nice. Oh yeah, yeah, the uh, energy beam receiver. Uh, apparently it has way less heat capacity than it used to. Although, without running a spaceship, it's kind of hard to... Um, get a feel for it. taking a little longer to heat up than I would have thought. I think he means what happens when you place a belt on that corner. Oh, yeah, good point. Nothing. Good to know. You can put a belt there, though, if you want to. Um, I guess there's really no way to see this unless we were to, I mean, we could, actually. That would be one way we could test it. Let's build this whole thing. Uh, it's kind of hard when 
to, to get a feel for it when this has... When the condenser turbines give us more power as well, though. I don't think we have a way to make a direct comparison. Uh, maybe this? Oops. Do these still give us... The high temp turbine generators are really different now. They only consume 409 steam per second, but they still give us a gigawatt? OP. Max water output, 302, steam, 102. Default 320 stacks. What do you think about SE space trains? I haven't looked yet. Uh, let's go... Do they have to be on space rail? No. It's very sleek. Space proof maglev. Oh, it needs a uh, fuel, actually. I was going to say electricity, but that's wrong. Cannot be fueled with super fuel. Well, you got me. Uh, how about... Do we need to give it specific fuel? Solid rocket fuel... What can we put in here? Space train power pack charged. Oh, so so we have to charge batteries and put those in and then they come out. Space train bat battery. Space train battery pack charging station. It's not what I'm looking for. Where was it? Space train power pack. Power pack. Uh, refurbishment. Cool. Neat. So it's not just... Do I have no way... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's use, um... This. Power pack. Charged. Alright. Give me those, please. There we go. How do you charge the batteries? We'll find out later. Max speed 518. Max speed way less than that. So these are really fast as well. 4 megawatts of acceleration power? Versus 5 actually. That's cool though. I think we'll be using those. Is it AoE, or do you need to load them? Uh, is what AoE? They will kill you nicely? Wait, what? Load them with inserters. With editor extension, you can tweak under mod settings per player to have a personal lab. To enter in-game, no cheating. You can do that with editor extensions? Uh, cool. Do I need to quit to main menu to do this, or...? Let's see, editor extensions.
they are so fast you don't see them coming often got run over quite more often than normal trains nice uh let's just save this real quick back to the menu mods uh i mean settings mod settings editor extensions per player start in editor automatically enter the map editor when entering the debug world or testing scenario i don't think that's it is it What what is the setting called? Settings per player, personal lab. Uh, do I need to go back into a game? Per player, editor. Editor extensions start in editor. Enter the map editor when entering the debug world. Requires hijack debug world to be enabled. I don't understand. Search bar doesn't filter per category, so you can't type the mod name there. Oh, I see. Don't use search bar. Editor extensions. Snap infinity point. Testing lab. Automatically teleport to a testing lab when entering the map editor. Then back out when you leave the editor. Allows you to easily test setups in an isolated space. Keeping your actual factory pristine. Disabling inventory sync allows you to use this in a completely cheat-proof way in regular playthroughs. Disabling inventory sync. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to do that on a per save basis. Um, let's just throw this in. That's it. Uh oh, stack size. So how do I how do I access this lab? Toggle map editor. Uh no? I think we have cheats enabled. Or do I need to Surely I have to have the editor extensions mod enabled. Um, what is Creep Collector? Anyway, let's not get distracted. How do I... Toggle Map Editor. Yeah, I, I definitely have cheats enabled. Not what I was looking for. Settings, Mod Settings... Player editor extensions. How do I turn off cheat mode? Creep is for K2. You have to set the setting again. Okay. Uh, maybe I missed it. Yeah, may maybe I need to actually look at these settings here. Mod settings per player. Editor extensions, testing lab personal, don't sync inventory. Um, 
have a feeling that it's going to start in cheat mode. Okay, that doesn't sound like what happened before. Nice. Although I don't have a player character in this mode, but that's not that big of a deal. Very cool. Let's go back. And... Toggle map editor. That was the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... That that was the cheat mode that we had, where we put down cliffs, but we can't do that here. Fantastic. How close can I get to this? Surprisingly close. Okay. Uh, I think we're getting close to actually starting. Ooh. Oh, they can't walk through that. That That's pretty strong. To say the least. I would still put some walls in there just to be a bit... Just to be that little bit safer. Uh, anyway. Um, let's review our mods. Did you beat the first playthrough? Yes, indeed. Emo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Which mods did you add? We're looking at using containers, afraid of the dark, uh, armored biters, auto trash, bulk layer loader, calculator, mecha combat mechanics, crafting combinator. I didn't play with this yet. Default lamp RGB, but that's probably pretty easy. Uh, editor extensions, it turns out there's a way to do what I'd been talking about before, which is in the middle of a non-cheating playthrough, we can jump into a lab mode um, without going to a different save. Uh, even distribution, factory planner, FNEI... Lighted electric poles, LTN, module inserter, nice fill, no nuke scorch, picker dollies, pipe visualizer, rampant rate calc, robot attrition, uh, that's mandatory, rusty's locale, I still don't know what this is, uh, that's probably for programming mods, space trains, shield projector, Simulation helper. Oh, probably the thing I just said. Stack size tooltip, text plates, tree x ray underneath these. Um, that's pretty much it. Adding K2 and armored biters? Sure, why not? Did I miss the Foenestra solution? No, I couldn't figure it out. Mouse over construction for pre-bot era. Does stack size tooltip use K2 stacks? Uh, I would imagine. I'm still trying to figure out how to fix... Let's see. Mod settings. There's going to be a lot that we have to look at here. Um, but the K2... Less visible substations. What? Lamps transmit power. Pipes upgrade to lamps. What? Oh, I see. That's it. That's cute. Um, will you create a command for mod list? Yes, definitely. Um, 
jetpack volume. That's nice. Increase stack sizes, Questorio 2. Reset settings to default, no changes. We should probably do that, right? If we're going to get something closer to the experience everyone else is suffering through right now. I just want to see if that gets rid of that red text. Isn't that just for bigger stack sizes in non-K2 games? Wait, what? All right. Uh, oh, I didn't realize. Whatever I changed there needed a restart. No changes. Okay, cool. Per player editor extensions. We already fixed that. Cool. All right, let me just confirm that that fixes that red text. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, I guess it's time to go through... Unless there's a mod that we've forgotten to install, uh, it might be time to go through all of the map generator settings. Um, if I was doing SE again without K2, I think I would definitely crank some of these. As I understand, it only affects Nalvis uh, if we jack up the resources. Oh, here we go. Naquim Ore. All of it, please. Increasing resource sizes too. I'm tempted, definitely. I understand crude oil isn't infinite, but we can core mine it though. I'll I'll leave it as default, I think. Um planet size. Huh. I, I think I don't know. Oh, that's rough. I, I think I want to see what default looks like anyway. Do we want to turn off Bider Expansion, maybe? Default is wrong. Wait, what? Not default. Drop down at the top, use SE default. Dunny? Use SE default. Uh, space exploration default. Okay. I've never done something like rampant um, without enemy expansion. That could actually be kind of a nice, not moderate difficulty, but like between hard and not hard at all. I mean, I guess that's what moderate is. It 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 depend depends on your standards. I'm pretty sure this only affects Nalvis, right? Except this will affect every planet. We can turn pollution off later on if it's if UPS is getting low enough. Also, you can completely turn off all biter settings. Since it only affects Nalvis, 
you can read all this in SE Wiki website. And screw to my good luck, Imo. Assemble a fleet of AAI cars. I've played with those before. They cost a lot of UPS, even just sitting idle. If you make any decent number of them. Uh, research queue availability. I have no idea why this doesn't default to always. Or I, I don't know why this is even an option not to have this on, to be honest. Not interested in arbitrarily expensive recipes. Um, this is all fine, I suppose. Mod settings. This is the part that's going to take a minute. All right. Reduce one by one container collision. What does that mean? Oh, okay. That's fine. Let's like squeak through. Scale container alt icon with size. Oh, I see. Uh, either way, I don't think I really care about that. Show container size number in the icon. Sure. Inventory size progression. Oh, we can actually change it. Oh my god. 1800? Smooth. 10, 30. Wait, what is this 10? Vanilla plus 16, 32, 48, 96. What? Oh, this is like wooden chest and iron chest. I forgot those even exist. Okay. Uh, this is fine. AAI industry. I don't think I want to touch that. Night loot set. Strength of the nighttime darkness effect. Get out of here. Is that why it was so dark? After halfway through our last playthrough? Maybe I could make this bright, actually. Uh, I'm going to put it on bright. Oh, is this light night vision item? Night vision LUT that does not desaturate the screen. Slight green highlight. Yeah, never mind. Whatever. It's probably not going to matter. It's to teach you to place more lamps. No lamps. Friendly Zool. Uh, we can probably ignore that. Alien biomes, I'm going to leave default. Wait, what is this actually? Replaces a lot of vanilla tiles. Obsolete tiles can be removed to free up additional tile slots. So more mods that add tiles can be used. Not worried about that. This can stay default. This can stay default. Uh, combat mechanics overhaul. Rockets blockable. Is that how someone killed themselves firing a nuke into a tree? Yeah. Uh, thank you for the follow, Multitune. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I just want to leave those on default. Editor extensions. We did the per player thing already. Um... Probably... B. 
Beardless Dane. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rocket vs. Stone in front of me. Boom, dead. Oh no. I don't want to spend too much time reading this, but... Show character tab in editor GUI. Jetpack volume. Can I change this later? It's on startup. If this is too loud. Oh no. Cross story 2, no changes to stack sizes. Long hands. Build distance, reach distance, and. Oh, this is long reach. Uh, sure, that's... We'll have slightly longer hands. Why is there an ion... Why is there a random ion storage tank in the middle of this? I couldn't help... Oh, there's a little... pipe thing there. Okay. Uh... Impossible more than difficult. What? Okay. With a message like that, I'm definitely not clicking it, whatever it is. I have long hands on two. What is MRW? Auto aim of weapons. Well. We're not doing it multiplayer, so I don't have to worry about lag. I can use Crustorio science packs or not. Some of these. Shelter color. Same as the color I usually pick for myself. Now on menu simulations, what? I don't know what that is. Uh, light radius scale. Lighted electric poles. Set to zero to use the equivalent of a small lamp on every pole. Factor applied on top of scaling with wire distance. Okay. Maximum light size. Greater than 75 may produce graphical issues. Okay. Pole blacklist. Don't create lighted versions of... VI power to rail pole EE -E super substation okay let's just ignore that rampant this could matter projectiles use blockable projectiles uh I'm actually not seeing anything too important there. Disallow friendly fire splash damage. That's a lot of options. Robot attrition, robot repair, destroyed logistic bots by any means, leave an item that can be refurbished into a new bot. I kind of want to... I kind of want that. I was just going to turn off uh, robot attrition, but if we can resurrect them, that's kind of neat. Still costs seventy five percent as much as it would cost to replace them, though. 
Space train, power pack refurbishment, cargo wagon capacity. Oh, it's got more slots than the vanilla train. That's cool. Space pipe capacity. Supercharger, individual port, charge rate. Doesn't really matter. It's so fast that they just instantly get recharged anyway. Construction pylon charging points. Uh, yeah, I thought I really wanted this, but it does cause problems. Mostly because you can't have it... You can't have the mod just only let one or two or three bots queue for the charging point. So you get halos around the construction pylons. Deep space belt speed, you can configure it. You can actually just get rid of the extra colors. Space exploration menu simulation. Oh, that's what this is, like in the background here. Menu simulations. All right. Uh, per player. Meteor alerts. Alert when satellite discovers nothing. Tree x-ray radius. Uh, yeah, higher values are going to be more impactful there. Allow moving entities such that they collide slash overlap. I've noticed it lets you do this if something that it was going to collide with is marked for deconstruction. But yeah, I don't think I'll check that box. Okay. Pipe visualizer capacity. We can probably change that later. Module inserter. Wasn't it green before? Never mind. Close GUI after loading a preset. No. I actually hated that. I'm glad you can change it. Overwrite presets. Fill slots. Uh, yes. Hides the button in the top left corner. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually like to access it down here. Um... Factory planner. I'll leave on defaults. Even distro... Settings moved into inventory. I can't even see. Settings moved into inventory screen. What does that mean? We already did editor extensions. Calculator can stay. Uh, default, probably. Auto trash. There's probably a setting I want to change with this. Show auto trash button, trash to request amount. Wait, what? Sets the maximum amount of items to the default request amount. Does that mean it matches maximum with minimum by default? Reset, unclose, restore the last applied config when closing the GUI. No. Close, on apply. Columns to display. What I was hoping to find isn't here, but I think it might be in-game. 
All right, let's look at the map. Uh, start with basic logistics. That's nice. Quick start science. Oh, we start with some free packs. Auto trash update ticks. Updates the request status every X ticks. If I made that slower, uh, no, it'd be a bit random. Bulk rail loader, we already changed. Crafting combinator refresh rate. Can I set this really high? And then I wouldn't have to bother with the timer part? With combinators? So it's only going to refresh... Uh, it's only going to change recipes and stuff once every 30 seconds. And that's also going to make it really, really, really UPS friendly. I think I like that, actually. Uh, ignore control behavior. Let's ignore control behavior settings. Always enabled if any of the RGB signals has value greater than one. Wait, what? I think I want this switched off. Yeah, definitely. Lower values reduce UPS. How many ticks an update? Every how many ticks an update should be performed. Yeah, that was just some confusing timing. Uh, we could probably set this really high as well. Is that refresh math? Yeah. Those biters survived nukes? Good luck. Indeed. Lamps per update. How many lamps to check with each update? Higher values might reduce UPS. Okay. Um, I really don't care how quickly the, RG, the lamp RGB mod does its thing. So... Um, we can make that, like really slow. Editor extensions... Uh, oh, you can put hidden items like the specific delivery cannon capsules, for example. Match research. I don't understand. Even distribution, max inventory cleanup. Range. Yeah, that's probably fine. Control, click, drag, modification. No, I don't want to touch that. Factorio library. I definitely don't want to touch that. Jetpack can be default. LTN. Uh, we can change this later, I'm pretty sure. I'll definitely want to turn it off at some point, but we can start with like detailed messages. Request threshold, uh, so high that it never kicks in unless we give it a request threshold with combinators. Same for provide threshold. Message filter timeout, updates per tick. We can change those later. Uh, and it's surprisingly not that impactful letting LTN do its thing more often. Schedule circuit conditions. 
Uh, yeah, no, I don't want that. Depot inactivity. Get rid of it. Wait. Duration in seconds of inactivity before train leads to depot. No, wait, I was thinking of something else. Five seconds is fine. Stop timeout. Definitely don't want that. Delivery timeout. Don't want that. I think the highest I could set this was like something oddly specific that was like 10 hours or something. Yeah, this is the maximum. Uh, we don't want this because if you have traffic jams or something, it'll just keep sending more trains, and then you're going to eventually get a station completely overloaded. Delivery completes at request to no. Finish loading. Definitely don't want that. It adds two seconds of inactivity to loading, which means unless you have some overly pedantic circuitry, uh, if a station is requesting only a thousand of something, it'll just keep unloading until... It, it'll, it'll stay there with the inserters picking stuff up until it's completely full. Depots reset filters. Uh, sure. Don't remove fluids. Default network ID negative one. Perfect. Providers output existing cargo. What does that mean? Cargo inside train when arriving at provider. Oh! Cargo inside train when arriving at provider is shown in LTN output. I didn't know you could turn that off. That's actually really helpful. Uh, I guess we won't have to deal with it so much in this playthrough because we're using the loaders and stuff. But the logistic train stop output that we read for our precise loader stations um, would run into problems if... If there was some kind of accident and a train had something in it when it arrived at the station, it would add that signal to the logistic train stop output. Um, and then it would contaminate what we're trying to do with our circuitry. And I don't know when you would want this signal, but I'm glad it has the option. LTN manager, sure. And I think we looked at this already. Okay. Is that everything? Are we actually ready to start? Have you looked at LTN Combinator? Uh, I don't have it installed, if that's what you mean. Okay. Hopefully we haven't forgotten anything. Let's get started. And it requires a restart. Away we go, indeed. Let's get restarted. Uh, please tell me I'm not going to have to set all of those things again. Alright, so we don't want expansion. Uh, we definitely want technology queue. None of the other things were changed. And then mod settings. SE default, thank you. Mod settings. Uh, what's something that I know I changed? LTN. Bulk rail loader allowed items any. 
LTN. Okay, yeah, here's our settings. So that should be fine. What else did I change? This stuff. I think we're good to go. Oh yeah, you can see stuff that's not on default here now. That's cool. Yep, we just changed this. All right. Away we go. I pressed the wrong thing, didn't I? I mean, no, I didn't, but I thought that would finish it. Should we do a map preview? Uh, in the long run, it's going to make no difference. We'll take whatever we get. What's the bonking for? Expansion? Uh, I thought I did turn off expansion. Okay. Can I check? Can I check if expansion is on... How can I do that? Expansion's not that bad. I mean, it kind of is. You did before changing to SE default. I was away for a few hours. What's happening? We're just getting started with the new playthrough. All right, fine, fine. We'll do it again. No more, no more Bonk Squad. <laughs> uh, new game, free play. Step one, space exploration defaults. Enemy expansion off. Uh, tech tree always. Don't touch this. Don't touch this now. This is fine. Mod settings. Confirm again. Those are all our settings. Fantastic. How did Wedding Ring go? Uh, it didn't really. Spider base off? No, we can live with some biters. Um, and I think that's it. Okay. Let's begin. Rip our ship. And I guess I'll start tearing this stuff up. Oh, hello, Informatron. Um, I don't like this color. That's better. Check out that UPS. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Oh, we're getting cooked. Anything in here? Pistol mags? Uh, why don't I just control, quick drag all of this stuff? Oh, why don't I use alt mode? That makes more sense. Uh, what is this? Free power? That's nice. And this is... This is a lab. I have played a bit of K2 before, a long time ago, so some of this is a bit familiar. This is an assembly machine. And we've got a lovely snow planet, it seems. Alright, what's step one? Drill some coal. And I need another... I need four stone bricks. I've got stone here and here. Uh, do I have a container somewhere? How about shove it in this burner? So 
stone brick. You can take apart everything else besides the assemblers, research lab, and generator. Yes, indeed. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Yes. Just chop the rock down. Shelter is a container. Do I have a shelter already? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Spawn point and a big container. Nice. How am I going to get stone? Oh, I have to set a recipe on this. That feels so weird. Stone brick it is. We need uh, five times four, right? Do I have any rocks over here? That's a bit quicker. Just a smidge. Alright, let's pick up these rocks. Thanks for the stream, good luck. Thank you, Whiskers, take care. Have a good evening. How far is your long reach? Uh, one, I think. It's on the default. So, practically nothing. Uh, I haven't updated the mods command, I'll do that after the stream. Um, I couldn't even tell you what mods we're playing right now. There's a few. Alright. How many stone brick do we have here? Dare I believe SE and K2 together? Yes, indeed. I guess I should update the title. Uh, SE plus K2 begins. Alright, we got some drills there. Pick the dollies. Move that over there. And Radjack, thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you don't know. Cross 2, that's SpaceX, and 248. What's 248? Running point six, yes indeed. Need to change the string title then. Uh, good point. Three point six. So I guess uh, space elevator exists. That's cool. Material two, utility two, production two. And what's this? Nanomaterial cable? More resource efficient construction of space elevator cable. Okay. Actually, what? Uh, I'm, I'm curious. Can take wires and trains between a planet or moon surface and orbit. Space elevator cable. Three aeroframe pole, heavy girder, holmium cable, and coal. Well, I guess we won't have any idea of how much of that we need until uh, until we get there. Uh, this way, please. And let's get some iron, I suppose. Seems like a good idea. I need some stone. Uh, got some stone. Can't wait for pre-space 30 UPS Nalvis base. That never happened. Not even before upgrading. How dare you. Shaking and crying. Uh, even distro. I like to balance out inventories. Uh, 
uh, cars. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's get some more of these. Oh, I need to set the recipe. Whoops. I could spend a minute picking up a few more of these. That is a tree. Or was a tree. What's this? Nothing. Perfect. Oh, this does it in packs of 20? Wait, 15 iron ore... 15 plate from 20 ore, that's interesting. Stack size 100. Uh, there's no way I can see what the stack size is for other stuff yet, right? Oh yeah, there is. Four fragment stone. Stack size 20. Oh no. Alright, let's get some more iron. Uh, this goes here. Actually, copy paste the recipe. Give me more coal, please. Welcome to remote processing? Never. I'll never join the dark side. It just means Factorio stream until New Year, maybe until Easter, maybe until the very end. Alright, um, sleeping friend? <laughs> That's cute. It feels so weird that it still hasn't done a single recipe for the iron up there. Uh, shift C. I should learn to do that. How many hours you had on previous playthrough? A bit over a month of gameplay. Uh, but we kind of took our time on that one. Alright, I need some power... Oh, I've got power poles already. So, we can... I've got red tech cards, not basic ones. Alright, so I need to handcraft some of these, right? Wood and copper cable. Let's grab some more banners. I can't yet. Actually... Uh, give me those. Cop a plate. And... Shift C. Wood on Ice Planet? I've already got two wood. It's fine. What is this? Oh, that's, um... I, I already... I'm not used to not having the nerve set. Uh, that must be a core drilling spot. Yep. Nice to see they're easy to find via the map. Um, I really miss having the nerve set already. Holy. That is wood. So how much do we need? Uh, five wood... Oh, one wood per data pack. It's not so bad. Or is it? We're going to be able to grow wood later, right? If I recall. 
I didn't get that far in K2. Well, I didn't get to the end of it, but... Um, we got a little bit deep into it. K2 adds wood growing. Fantastic. Can I handcraft this? Looks like I can. Still waiting on our first copper. These are a prerequisite for making the next tier of drill, right? Electric mining drill. Yeah, they are. So we're not making trash by spamming these. You could be a masochist and cut the wood by hand. <laughs> oh, thank you. Alright, what's our first research? Uh, Submachine gun? Probably can't really support it. Let's just do this. So that is ten cards. I can move I can only make six. Why is that? Oh, because I can actually make five times six. Okay, cool. I don't know what kind of steel amount you need, but I think Nervous would be empty after a few hours. Uh-oh. Uh, let's get some research happening. Fantastic. Take that. set up a burner for that. Do I have any containers? And... Can I make a burner in Sardo? Yes, indeed. Takes a few steps now, though. some coal in there as well. Stone brick. That's not going to keep up, is it? That's only going to get 125. We can actually pick a dollies this across. That's, that's neat. Give to me another nine drills, actually. That's fine. I do have a burn all out. How's our pollution? Already getting a bit bad. Did we get that research done? Yes, we did. What are we researching next? Probably... Raw fish, wood, biomatter, and first aid. Oh, that's not the lowest tier first aid. Okay. Um, we should probably get some kind of defenses. 
So we need another 20 cards. Which is exactly what we're able to craft right now. We need more stone brick. We're out of stone here. That only stores up 10 bricks. Hmm. A little bit surprising. Okay. Back and forth. We've got plenty of copper. of iron. Time to shift focus a little bit. Uh, how about researching a bit faster? Apparently we're burning our precious wood to do research. Fantastic. I know I'll need automation cores, like, handy. Can speed up things a little bit by doing some of this ahead of time. Once I realize I need something. Uh, light armor. is a prerequisite, so it doesn't feel like a waste to make it. I want to uh, explore a bit, but I only have my feet to do it with at the moment. You want the crusher? Probably. Uh, I could use an assembler, actually. How much power does this use? Uh, 93 kilowatts. We've got 3,000. No. Oh, that's 3 kilowatts. We've got 240. Okay. Uh, I'm a little upset that it auto consumed our precious wood just now. But we should be able to find a bit more. I guess this isn't the easiest start that we could possibly have. I'll grab some fish while we're at it. Also, healing goes on slot 4. That's just kind of easy to reach. Rocket launch products. Dolphin. Yes. Doesn't look like we can use raw fish for healing. Oh, let's get this stone as well. It's only 30. And we got SMG. Um, not really much into shotguns in this game. Oh, I need rifle mags specifically. Slow capsule might be a good idea. I need steel for that. Never mind. Oh, I can already make these better first aid kits. Med pack. Oh, these are much better. Heals 50. 25. 25. Wait, what? Oh, they're, they're the same. They're just different recipes. Okay. Did I make those data cards? Yes, I did. Is 
ran into serious power problems without them. I think they're decent. The fuel processors. How's our pollution cloud? It is creeping towards the point where it might cause us some trouble already. Uh, Crusher is 30. We can afford that. Wait a sec. Don't get up. You can craft that for me. Um, I need another chest. But I hate making iron chests. But even... Even without K2, there was a use for iron chests in our last playthrough, so it's probably fine. That's what we'll tell ourselves. We also don't have any electric inserters yet, so this can go in here. And I guess just to preserve the coal that's already in there, I could pick a dollies this across. Eve ho. I guess I didn't need the container after all. It's fine. On second thought, it's not fine. There we go. Alright, so we have gun turrets now. Definitely put down a couple of those. And then we'll set things in motion uh, for stuff to get done without us and explore a little bit. Need more everything all of the time. Turret number two uh, should probably go about here, covering each other and all of this other stuff. Give me that back. Wait, what? There we go. Shotgun's amazing early on. Is it different from vanilla? Uh, I think I remember the pistol being a bit different here. Minimum range 1, range 20, range 30, speed, damage bonus. Yeah, the pistol has a damage bonus. So it's a bit more resource efficient, I guess. I should probably cover this with turrets as well. Does this have coal? Yes, it does. Our turret. Oh, here it is. Right about here. Close enough. Finally, a new map. Indeed. NG. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's it going? Not too bad. Uh, let's put these right next to each other. Actually, a little bit further back here. For this one. Alright. 
Alright, so we need some rifle ammo in this thing. That should be more than enough. And let's go for a little walk. Not before we pick up this stuff to make sure it keeps crafting though. I guess I ran out of uh, single cylinder engines that we had just lying around. Uh, we can do that later. Alright, let's at least get a bit beyond the pollution cloud. We'll get some wood. Hopefully we'll find some not snow. Where we can get lots of wood. Saves you from needing to turret tree. What's this? Uranium. I see trees. We've reached the promised land. Oh, that's so much wood. Give, give to me all of it, please. It can't seem to... Oh, that's one big tree. It's only four wood per big tree that I'm getting. This feels a bit weird. After the little sticks give us four. How's our pollution cloud? Alright, I think I'll head down south a little bit. Search is ticking along very slowly. Everything gives four, seems like it. Do we take radiation damage in this mod set? We do. What's that? Oh, right. Oh, you can just remove that. It's just a map tag. I think I'll be leaving it, though. Alright, this is probably far enough for the moment. I'm surprised I haven't seen any biters yet. Rifle kills its nests in a few shots. I'm actually kind of really looking forward to using energy shields uh, for combat. What is that? Raw, rare metals. Okay then. Crunch, crunch, crunch. This is about the distance I want. Been a while since I've taken a... Uh, there's some biters. And some zerg creep. Uh, been a while since I've taken a break. In fact, I don't think I've taken a break today, now that I think about it. Uh... So probably after doing this lap, we'll take five or so. Sniper rifle sounds good. Having a having something long range before getting the railgun.
I'm looking forward to seeing how the combat mechanics overhaul is as well. Creep. Biter nests generate biter creep can be harvested to produce biomatter. Used for military research. Huh. We need a shovel. Found in the shortcut bar or by pressing Alt C. Alt C. Okay, so we don't have to make a an item to do it. Fair enough. Um, the pollution's not that far away from those biters already, but that was what three, four nests. We've got three over here as well. Common worm. Hmm. It's really not going to be long before before that one becomes a problem. Let's do a little... Not exactly turret creep, I'm just going to have the turrets that I can fall back to. Maybe I should make sure I have more ammo first. Probably should have been handcrafting that this whole time. Based on my writing, it seems I'm not fully awake yet. Fair enough. Greetings, Mazzle Fazzle. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pollution cloud is stretching out further than we've explored already. Maybe I should have gone a little bit slower. How rich is your starting location? Uh, pretty good, I think. Yeah, that, that should be fine. Oh, uh, the mod's uh, out of date because we just started. That is a lone spawner. Let's try and take it out. The biters are so small. There's no auto aim. And we can miss. The fact that they're so small is not so cute all of a sudden. Oh. Um. I didn't think we'd be able to just outrange the spawner. I don't actually have a repair pack. Probably should have thought of that. Um, I don't... Can I dodge the spit? Yes. Pretty much. I want... I want the creep. Not to mention to not have enemies here. Oh, there's another nest. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's fine. Whack. Alright. Alt C? Oh, I just, like, deconstruct this. Oh. How much did I get? 90 biomatter? Uh, maybe I should leave this. No, it's fine. I want to explore the edge of the pollution cloud. Oh, I almost died. Probably be a little bit more careful. Is this rampant? Yes, indeed. I think that's why we have the cute biters. Alright, so there's another nest. Should be nothing here, probably. Except for crude oil. Did you happen to go over the mods start of the stream? Uh, yeah, we just spent like... 
quite a while uh, picking the muds and testing a couple of things. Is this your first time playing K2? No. Um, but I haven't played it in a very long while and we didn't get that far. Alright, uh, maybe I'll take a break before I walk all the way back up there. Yeah, I think I'd better do that. Um, unfortunately, I can't be doing any LTN screensaver this time. But we will be firing up words on stream. Once it opens... All right. Copy link. Yay train. <laughs> uh all right. So in about 30 seconds we're going to do some words on stream. I'll be back in a few minutes. And, uh, good luck and have fun. Alright, back, back soon.
Fantastic. Again, nice. Let's continue with some K2SE, shall we? One more? You guys want one more? Alright. One more. Three, two, one, go. gonna fail this one? Good luck. These cliffs though. Mineral water. Finite amount. Wait, if I pick up the meteorite, do I get radioactive? Oh, it's only a chance of uranium. Okay. Let's be a bit more careful this time. Uh-oh. to make sure. Okay, cool. Why are you shooting the rock? Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh, you've got one more to go. I believe in you guys. Why am I burning? Do I need to put myself out? No, we're fine. Alright, uh, 25 there. And... I need to get more ammo so I can quickly... Um... Quickly swap it in. Retreat, go burr. That's much easier. Oh, it was shooting down the projectile. I should probably have this on a quick slot. Pink pajamas overshot by two. Overshot. Nice. That is a huge ranking. Uh, so next level sixteen. Okay, in about an hour, I need to remember to give you guys a shot at level sixteen. Oh, let's not forget to collect the creep. Fantastic. And... Uh, I hope that one of these directions leads to a natural barrier. But for now, let's get back and keep building and fortifying and so on. I miss my spider. Oh, what? I miss my spider so much. Uh, I've gone too far north. 
At least the jetpack comes early. We need blue science. What's this? Stone processing, glass and sand. Fantastic. Let's refresh our coal. That has a lot of reach, actually. Uh, make some more ammo. Never enough ammo. Why can't I? Because I need coal. stone bricks. That's a lot of stone. Should probably have a container. Should probably have more of these. Gonna mine up iron actually. Okay, and then this goes here, this goes here. Are you stealing coal from there, or...? No. Okay. Let's get some data cards. Actually, I'm surprised this wasn't enough. Uh... Did I not give it any copper cable? Well, there's your problem. some chests and inserters and coal. And I don't even have... oh I do have belts. a range that I almost thought it did. That's pretty good though. No, don't put wood in there. Oh no. Why are you like this? Also I forgot to have this other inserter. Why don't I put all of my wood um, on this belt, actually? Is this inserter going to keep up if I do that? Probably not. Maybe not all of my wood. Hi, what did I miss? Uh, basically just getting started with a new playthrough. Red Craft. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. As you can see, with the number of things we have can be expressed in less than three digits, if we were to add them all together, I think, in terms of buildings. Alright. 
Alright, so that should be basic tech cards as automated as we can get them for now. Um, welcome to the jungle? Wood plus water equals tree. Small asteroid? What? We can make asteroids and rocks? That's kind of weird. But I'll take the... We need all of this first. That's what I was looking for, greenhouse. Um, alright. Let's get rocks and data cards and this and that and this and that. To build your own Zen garden? Yeah, it sounds good. Sheep say met. Good to see you again. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Data gnome. Good to see you again. Well, also, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pardon me if my voice is uh, dying just a little bit. I let myself get a bit too cold after it was surprisingly warm at the start of the stream. Did you figure out the ring? Nope. Never have, never will, probably. Doesn't seem to... I mean, I literally don't even have any leads on how to figure it out. Definitely wouldn't hurt to have a turret right about here. Yeah, I tried, um, I tried using addresses, or so I imagined they would be from the mysterious structures, but it didn't amount to anything. No rep. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, this is a bit slow, though. What's our rate like? We can actually support uh, almost four burner labs with this one machine. Assuming we can even fit them. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to remove some stuff. I've already got two of these. Wait, I've got one too many. Rip. What are the best defense? Indeed. They haven't added flying biters yet, right? Right? Um, I don't suppose I can configure... Use fuel limit from above. Distribute island items above the minimum request amount. Ammo limit from above. Oh, that's cool. Drop items into chests. Hmm, I don't know if I want to do that or not. It's like quick stack from, uh... It's like quick stack from Terraria. Kind of. mainly just want it to go into the machines, but 
Maybe in future I'll change my tune on that. Alright, I guess we'll put another lab here. Now I want to make a mod that eats biters towards the base. Deep space, uh, deep strike biters. That sounds a bit scary. I'm really hoping that concept comes to reality in the expansion. Uh, which one? Some were looking like flying. Oh no. There is a mod that straight up adds like Zerg, uh, what are they called? Mutalisks? Alright, so that is our research. Actually moving at a pace that is not excruciatingly slow. What's the crafting speed here? One. And this one is also one. From this post. Whoopsie. Yeah, sorry about that. When's this from? One uh, backward date. Is that the 4th of Feb? I can only guess. Or is it the 2nd of April? Oh, we got research. Uh, so we can make a crusher now. And I believe we need that for sand. And we need sand for glass, right? Feb 4th, okay. If I don't get this biter nest now, if pollution cloud expands this much, it's going to be really difficult to do something about them. So let's head up that way. Why are we so short on copper? Oh, we've finished... We finished mining copper here. Okay. I absolutely love Piccadillys for this. K2 cranks up the pollution. Uh oh. Space Spidertron. Have a good stream. Thank you. Rubber Band Rambo. Take care. Or are you saying hello? Yo, have a good stream. Okay. I need some more gun turrets. And I guess I can just put them down in a row and then shift C. Or is it not going to work? I can test it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not going to take ammo from here to put into the gun turret. Maybe I should... Just put that there, use the pistol for myself, and then I can... Shift-C is not working. That's interesting. Use ammo limit from above. Use ammo limit from above. Distribute items from... Uh, hand, player, vehicle you're currently driving. Replace inferior fuel slash ammo. Nice. Uh, but why... Why does it not put ammo in here? I guess it's too cheaty. It's not going to be that much more difficult to do it this way. Uh, unless I do that. They're burning me! 
Um, don't tell me I can... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, turret creep has reached a new level. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just do this just this once. And maybe never again, actually. Picker dollies plus turret. The new meta. I might have done that too. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, I'll see. Oh, the Zerg creep. Let's repair these. And I need to be carrying enough ammo that it doesn't matter that it gets stacked back in here. Okay, I'll just check this spot for more fighters. And then we'll go clear them down to the left, I guess. Put your rifle in trash slot if possible. Uh, does that... Does that work that way? Uh, good point. So... I guess I could just use the pistol, like I said. Yeah. Good point. Uh, Dad Ale? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just do it. It's biters or you in this world. Indeed. Where am I going? Straight south almost. Free slots? The trash slots, yeah. Um, before you have bots, they're definitely just basically free slots. Research go burr. What did we unlock? Glass and sand. New game? Yes, indeed. Ridley? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, where are we going? Probably... Let's get the small one out of the way first. Yeah, Shift-C doesn't work with this, just to, just to confirm it. need to be a bit more careful about taking damage, since I'm pretty much out of healing. Oh, I can make more, but it's not as good. Probably... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pew, pew, pew. It looks a little weird the way the projectiles move with comeback mechanics overhaul. gonna hit the rock, isn't it? Yeah. Wasted a bit of ammo there. Didn't you want to break before starting the new one? Uh, e e yes. 
I kind of ran out of things to do in the old save. Um, because I saw no way that I was going to... Uh, make any progress on Bow and Estra. So we kind of had like most of the stream left over. This is so inaccurate and the targets are so tiny. Very handy cliffs. Creep doesn't spawn fighters, at least in base K2. Uh, the Iron Lefty, thank you for the follow. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have enough left? Uh, 166. Yeah, we've got lots. Pistol's so inaccurate. The targets are so tiny. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should just ignore them somewhat. I'm trying to bait the shots at me. Please. Can't build some things on on rails. All right. How much creep have we? Oh my goodness. That seems like a lot of biomatter. Although I did turn off biter expansion, so I guess it's a finite resource. I think I saw biters coming from down this way, or was it up to the left as well, and or, yeah, 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 we just found another, another nest. Also to the left, like I said. Probably put the med kits on my hotbar. That really doesn't give us that much health, but we can spam these as fast as we want to, though. Uh, okay. No. Oh my god. If you start your even distribution drag on a building, it'll put everything in it.
I should probably um, change the settings on even distribution when I'm going to use it for turrets like this so that it works faster. That half a second adds up. just about do it for this little excursion. Let's go back and resupply, maybe build some stuff. You can grow your own biomatter later? Okay, cool. Darkfire Phoenix? Good to see you again. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. They're after me. They're coming. <laughs> it's hard to be intimidated when they're so cute. They are relentless, yeah. Let's let them catch up. I almost got them without taking damage. I could have maybe tried to dodge the second... The second swing there. What did you set your biter settings to? Uh, no expansion, but we have rampant and armored biters. And everything else is default. My kingdom for a car. But it's this way. Why are we not researching right now? No wood? Uh, I didn't bring back any wood. Oh no. Is that the only way I can make tech cards? We need to go on a little excursion to get wood. Uh, the mod list is out of date. Pretty. Sorry. Um, because we actually just started during this stream. Um, that'll do, I guess. Where's the closest? Trees are up this way. I can see them on the map. Could search for wood with the decon planner. That's a good point. So, how much? How many data cards do we get again? One data card per wood. And we need, uh, like what, five? hundred and fifteen-ish, hundred and twenty-five-ish, uh, hundred and sixty-five-ish. That's a lot of chopping. Does playthrough include goal of using tier 9 modules everywhere? Yeah, this time I think I will do that, especially since uh, it only takes two of the previous tier of module this time. Alright, 
sorry trees, but I need to conscript you. What are we up to? 88. I need like double that. I think you can skip the fuel processor until later. Uh, it's only 10, but yeah, you're right. Oh, bollocks. No, that's not, that's not true at all. Because we need the fuel processor to unlock the greenhouse. This time it shouldn't be copper heavy, but more balanced. Making pretty much only modules now and have trouble get rid of iron. Okay. Wait, wasn't... didn't I hear that K2 had some way to deal with excess resources? That vanilla... I, vanilla SE, for lack of a better term. Um, didn't have a crusher. Or a flare stack. Okay. Once again, we'll be setting that up only to deal with uh, resources that are core mined. Never destroy items that are that come from a finite source. I need. I, I've got enough wood now, but I think I would like to return with slightly more than just barely enough. Tide us over until we're growing trees. all my yellow... I throw all my yellow inserter in the crusher at some point. Wait, don't you need to upgrade yellow inserters to something else? Where are we going? Nope. What did I just spot purple ore? It's called uh, raw... I can't actually look at it right now. Uh, raw rare metals. Um, and wood goes over here. And we're going to direct insert as much of it as possible so that the inserter doesn't have to burn fuel as much. Always have to use flare stacks for chlorine slash hydrogen production. I don't think there is a good early game way to use it. Don't yellow inserters return inserter parts? Pretty much dedicated to blue circuits early on. Okay. Um, let me focus on what I'm doing for a second here. And how are these two always empty? Oh, this one's trying to... Uh, this, this one's going to get iron. That's the problem. Okay, uh, I should have used Piccadilly's that back. What? Oh, I can't... Oh. Uh... Awkward. This mixed ore is a bit rough. Do we have pure coal somewhere? Yeah, it's up here. Alright. Let's probably put our burner inserters there. We got a couple more. A little bit of a walk, though. I see how it goes. Crusher legitimizing cheating instead of breaking challenge of balancing multiple ore sources. But you have to either produce 
additional storage until the end of time or get rid of the excess. It's one of those. Could put the basic cards in the burner lamp to speed things up. Uh, I think they're all getting directly inserted into the burner lamps. As fast as we're making them. I'm surprised to see only one burner lab active at the moment though. I thought right calc said... Oh, this actually consumes six. I think I misread this earlier as... As this thing only consumes two per sec. Oh, it was probably because of the... Yeah, it, it, it varies how quickly labs consume cards. But depending on the research. Three more researchers to go still. Also, I need to make some red data cards. Um, iron and copper makes blank. Do we have another assembler up here? We do. Blank and automation core. Let's just put this in directly. That's pretty fast, actually. Automation core and blank. Uh, the fuel processes add uh, 10%, right? Do we have to power them, or do they just run off the fuel? Oh, we've already got 40 of these. That's nice. What am I missing here? For the red data cards. Uh, what I'm missing is I can't handcraft them. So let's do that up here. Fantastic. We need a lot more blank data cards to match those automation cores. How many do we need to get this done? 50, uh, 60, 100. So we need 100 blanks. Uh, 100 blanks and 20 automation cores. And that is 10 more blanks. Okay, cool. That'll do. Alright, uh, I don't suppose I can speed that up except by using a second assembler on it. I could make uh, another burner lab. or well, not lab, but assembler. I think it said you could run it in that. Yes. Yes, it did. Alright, let's do a few more burners, I guess. And I'll take that. have to come back and pick up those cards. We need 50 for this lot of research. How much have we got? Five. Not a whole lot. If I put these in separate... Oh, that only does basic. 
Never mind. Should distribute those more evenly. Much better. I used banner assemblers for quite some time since they're so cheap. We have to pay the bider toll though. Might be a good idea to get some more ammo, speaking of which. At least the minimum consumption for banner assemblers is zero. Oh, I forgot to put down this crusher. It does require electricity. Let's put it over here, and let's see what we can do with it. Huh. We can put in inserters or stone. Okay. And there's our sand. And if we want glass... That is just sand. I should probably go get some rare metals eventually. Add another chest. And don't forget this as well. How much sand do we need? 16. That's a lot of inserter swings. Maybe I shouldn't um, leave that to the inserter. Alright, let's get some more red plants. Throw them in here. We need more blanks. In fact, I should probably automate that part. Uh, if I move these down just a bit... Then we can do a nice neat row. We are going to get electricity. I don't think it matters if the burner assembler makes pollution or if your steam engines do. Uh, it does because the steam engine is more efficient. Um, in fact, if you look at the burner assembler, for example, Right down the bottom there, where it says consumes fuel, it explicitly states it's 90% efficient. Whereas... Uh, this burner turbine generator is even less efficient than that. Although you get a lot of power for a little effort. Uh, wind turbines give us, what, 20 megawatts? Uh, 20 watts, rather. Or kilowatts. Um, steam engine, there it is. I think that gives us, like, base 100% efficiency compared to the 90% efficiency of this burner assembly machine. 
Of course, you do have to take into account um, minimum power consumption, just constantly burning fuel. It's the boiler that has efficiency. Oh. Uh, doesn't say anything there. So I think implicitly, if it doesn't say anything about efficiency, you'd assume 100%, right? Not that that would be possible in reality, but it's just like 100% of a base efficiency level. Yep. We need more auto cores. Can I? Hmm. Uh, I think we'll do auto cores here. Uh, but first. Where am I going? I need. Oh, I threw away too much copper. There's copper over here, actually. Alright. So what goes into auto cores? Copper plate, iron stick, and gear. That is a whole production chain. Mm, it's a bit of a nuisance. Um, unless I get rid of more of this stuff. Copper plate. I could move this a bit. I could use fewer inserters if... No, don't worry about it. Greenhouse is being researched. Fantastic. So this goes here. Uh, what else do we need? Iron stick and iron gear wheel. So we're going to put a chest right here. And iron goes here. Inserters go here. And let's get some more coal. That's a lot of coal, actually. Shift C. I'll go get some more coal up here as well. total. We've definitely already got enough. If 
if you put coal in the iron chest, that build will fuel itself. Does it actually get fuel all the way over here? Let's steal all of this fuel. Find out. Yeah, I don't think they'll steal fuel from this for themselves or for what's behind them. There's a mod for that stealing. That makes sense. All right. How soon can we get proper steam engine? Really soon, actually. I'd like to skip those nasty boilers. I could also spam wind power, but it doesn't give us all that much. I don't actually have electric assemblers yet, or inserters for that matter. Automation, that's what I'm looking for. And where do I get nice inserters? Uh, logistics. Okay. Feels weird having to research yellow inserters. What's the T? T. What is the T? Is there a Factorio equivalent of Rule 34? There's a mod for that? Uh, yes. What's the T? Oh, this thing? Uh, glass text plates. Uh, we've got a mod that lets us make uh, text on the ground. How does this work? So I just select this, or I can type something. Cool. That's pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Fantastic. Actually, can I move that where we can actually read it? And if I press Q on this... Alright, cool. That makes it easy enough. Might have some people having you put in the B movie script. Hopefully you put a limit on it. Wait, what did what was I supposed to put a limit on? Letters acquired, yes indeed. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll 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 have We'll have people able to do name and base, but maybe not random text. Um Taking those. 90 data cards. Very good. We're already accelerating. Darudi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Expl uh, I almost said explosion. Pollution cloud is going to be getting a bit concerning at this point. It, if it was an if it was an explosion cloud, that would also be concerning. Got your first redeem, indeed. Morpheus out. Okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna move this later on, just so you know. 
Should we do small stone? What one is your name? Uh, 12. There was one above me? Oh. I really should add a sound for that. Name in bit. Uh, this scroll thing is terrible. Uh, Con B as well. Darudi. Alright, let me just filter. Filter the routines. That way I can see it a bit more easily. Alright. That's we're gonna need more of these. First up is Conby. No, it's actually Morpheus. No, it's actually Ru rubber band Rambo again. Okay. Uh at least I can do this more easily. Rubber band Rambo. Rambo. And then next is Morpheus Cell. Then we have Conby. Can I just drag this across? No, no I cannot. Okay. A O double N B. And then Darudi. Oh that's a lot of name in bases. Oh no. I'm never gonna play I'm never going to get to play A2 again. Oh no. Uh, where is... Let, let me put it... Put this on a quick slot. Um... D-A-I-U-U-D-I-I -I. And then... Fritty... Uh, Frit Lee, L-I-E. And then we have El Puncho. Glad I figured out how to filter this. I'd never be able to keep up with chat with the way the scroll doesn't respond properly. Uh, sheep say meh. run out. Uh, and then, oh my goodness. Okay, alright, I see how it is. Uh, ben Wu? I'm gonna run out of stone break. Oh god. We need more. That's not a good sign. Uh, we got 45. It takes one stone brick for one ladder. Oh no. Where were we up to? Sheep seen there. Uh, Ben Wu. And... Maple 53. 
buffalo kittens. Can you imagine if I had to do this manually? Like, all manually? Use mic. Whoops, 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 whoops. Uh, who's next? Baduk Gisa? Is that right? Uh, Nerit... Neritar? Nope. I can't even see the end of it. Zavoxifol? Did I spell that right? No. It has no room. Uh, Kellogg's. I might have to put a call down on this. Vlad two three. Uh, I'm just gonna go Vlad. And we're actually getting close to time to finish. So I'm definitely, I'm definitely spending the rest of the stream making names. I hope the biters don't want to interrupt us. Uh, burn a guide? Sa Sadiral Sadira Hicks? Oh, we're, we've run out again. Oh no. We're supposed to be making trees at this point. 65. And do I have any stone here? I don't think so. Sorry, Mr. Stream. <laughs> I mean, it was bound to happen eventually. I guess. Uh, where are we up to? Set you... Uh, Zetius. Si Silent Storm said nope. Thank you, Silent Storm. Sour Haggis. Okay, that is actually the end. I can't believe it. I'm scrolling up and there's nothing there. Ah, oh, okay. You should put a daily name limit on it, maybe. Or maybe just like, not literally every two seconds. We did it, yes indeed. That was kind of a fun way to end the stream, I guess. I mean, we've got, we've got like five minutes. Let's see if we can throw together a greenhouse. We need 20 glass. We've got 56. Nice. Uh, and we have water down here. How long till we craft this thing? Uh, 10 seconds plus all of this. Okay. Of course, we need Veldak in space. Of course. Names look great. Uh, look good. Thank you. Veldak... Uh, what have we got here? Uh, 
Almost looks like it was alphabetically organized. As if. Alright, so this is going to go pretty close to the water, I think. Sand and water, or just water. I'm definitely going for just water, at least for now. And we need an offshore pump. No doubt it's going to want electricity, just for the pump to work. Uh, I am able to make power poles at least. I can't make the lit ones yet because I, because we don't have lamps. But we do have this in and of itself unlocked. Uh, working? No, it does need power. Unsurprising. There we go. Infinite wood. Finally don't have to go on a long walk to get it. So how much do we get here? What's our rate? 10 per minute. That's not great, but compared to 0 per minute, that is infinitely preferable. Quite literally. We still, we still don't have uh, electric inserters. Let's get some data cards. That should be fine. What else do we need? Wood, of course. So once this, how much does it give us? Twenty at a time. And we need a uh, hundred of these. Twenty for this. I think I should do that first. Using sand is like a ten times boost. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Bad. Okay, so we need to deal with attacking biters now. Um... That's good to know. Uh, can I put this here? Yep, there we go. Nice and cozy. Horizon effect. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Horizon effect. How about over here? I guess we don't have an underscore character. We could do a dash. We could just leave a space. Wildcard? Place over ghosts. Oh, I see. Oh! Okay. So... Wildcard... Oops. That's ghosts. And then we can just go wildcard. Like that. That's good. Oh let's do let's do the cog. If if you don't want a space. Alright, let's get some wood. I think I've got zero, actually. Never mind. Um, and I was going to put a chest here. Wood goes here. That is literally just 20 blank data cards. But we only need 20 to unlock Inserta. Take 
taking its sweet time though. Cog is perfect, no worries. So did you finish the last map or just wanted to try out the new release? Oh yeah, we did finish it like three episodes ago um, with the spaceship victory. There's also been Mazzle Fazzle, Kinda Brave, and Gazalnik. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, yes, it has. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to go through, I need to end the stream, so I'm going to go through the redeems after that. Uh, A2 plus S, S, E plus K2. And so on. We can't have a plus in the saved game name. S, E, K2, and so on. Fantastic. Uh, why don't we see who's streaming Factorio right now? We got Game Sepo, Diablo. Anyone doing KTS, K2SE, I wonder? It's looking a bit quiet right now, actually. Uh, all right. Who are we gonna drop a raid on? I don't think I've raided Gamers Circle for a minute. It's because you are on. I guess so. Especially if no one else is. Oh, Diablo is doing Crestorio too. I guess that's the, that's the closest match right now, right? To what you guys are already watching. All right, let me just copy paste this, make sure we don't send you to a random Diablo. Thank you all for watching. Do take care and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're interested in that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, until next time, stay safe. Thanks for hanging out, Morpheus. Take care, Veldak. And uh, see you next time. Take care, Silent. Ben Wu, see you next time. Rubber Band Rambo. Horizon Effect. Alright, gotta go. Fine doing that. Um, yeah, we're, I'm definitely not wasting my time. Cut and paste. Um, maybe we're running laser. Wait, whoa, whoa! Some people are talking. <laughs>